in five, four, three, two. Welcome to the H3, H3, it's not even H3, H3. Welcome to the late podcast. I was trying to make a joke about being late. <clears throat> Thank you for being patient. To be fair, it is only about... Good luck, Ethan. Thank you, Keemstar. It's so nice that Keemstar wished me good luck every time we make an episode. It's very sweet and thoughtful of him. Uh, we're only 10 minutes late, so it's not like, you know, could have been worse. But I do apologize. I mean, we've been worse. We've been later. 15 minutes. Back in the day, Dan, we used to hit that. We used to hit like 45 like minutes. Yeah, let's go. Late. I mean, I mean we just do it the next day. <clears throat> Right, we would just skip the damn day. No, I'm kidding. We'll anyway, do it live. You know, today's been a... <clears throat> the week's been a little bit weird. We, um... Our video that... Our normal podcast that we were meant to upload yesterday... Didn't get approved in time. The YouTube gods did not look favorably, favorably upon us. <clears throat> so it is up for members. And that was a good time. Ah! To plug our membership. If you become a member and help support the show, you get episodes a day early. And that episode is up there. Basically, how it works is that we submit our podcast ahead of time for YouTube to evaluate. And this is their system to make sure that it doesn't get, like, mature rated and yellowed. Because it's actually a really great program that YouTube made for, you know, people like us who actually have businesses and employees and we depend on these episodes making money so they devised a pretty genius and amazing program where you submit a video and they give you feedback and then or, or they approve it but if they give you feedback you can make the changes and then they lock in the rating so that uh, once it's approved it will never flip yellow which is fantastic so we actually always we have a hundred. We've always hit our deadline. This is the first time we didn't hit our deadline. Why is that? I think they just took a while getting back to it us. It was just running slow mm -hmm. the other day, and well, which and is we, fine. And we went through multiple rounds of corrections. Which was part of the right. Too. Yeah, we were talking about uh, some sensitive, sticky stuff. So that episode ha is up, and thank you to all of our members. By the way, we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, but thank we're, you. But anyway, we're posting it publicly for everybody. We just got approval this morning. So we're posting it tomorrow, Saturday, with peace and love. We are posting the episode on Saturday, tomorrow, with peace and love. Peace and love, peace and love. Um, today's episode is sponsored for by... loving the Good Mythical Morning uh, cup you got there. Oh, yeah. I, I stole this when we were there. We did. We when didn't we, steal it. No, I know. They gave us that. a gift basket. Yeah. Dude, those guys, it's my favorite thing when we both have it. And I'm like, so... We're like bizarro, good mythical morning. Let's talk about that. Uh, I'm definitely red. <laughs> Link yeah. is like more put together. I'm definitely Link. <laughs> red is kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling more like red. You know, those guys have their shit together. It's crazy. They have like, yeah, they have like a green room, a <laughs> gift basket, yeah, like a handler. There's somebody there to like handle you. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Shout out the sponsors. You, you, I don't have it in my document. Who? Upstart. Thank you to our sponsors. Upkeep. No. Okay. Keep thank you to our sponsors. Keeps. It's keeps, right? right yeah. And Upstart for sponsoring this episode of the AC podcast. You know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Rango. <laughs> yeah, those guys. And then what was crazy is when we were sitting down at the desk to do the video. Mm -hmm. They have a teleprompter. You probably know what this is, Dan, but it blew my mind. Mm -hmm. That was in front of the lens. So they're reading off a teleprompter and looking directly into the lens. It's awesome. High tech. We can get one of those if you want. What the fuck do I need a we teleprompter don't even for? Have I'm off the rails, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what am I going to do with the teleprompter? <laughs> Hello, this is the H3 Podcast. Welcome to the H3 Podcast. Guess what? We're late. <laughs> That's written you into the script. You can definitely predict that. <laughs> oh. Do it wow. right into the script. <laughs> good one, Hila. <laughs> really good one. Oh, what's the title of this? Yeah, we're squashing the beef with Critical. So we had two huge YouTube beefs that... Massive beefs. Yeah, huge, massive beefs that were simmering over the top. The foot soldiers 
were had pitchforks in hand. We were storming the Capitol. We were ready. We were. Oh, I saw such a funny line about the Capitol thing. They said, "I no longer think that Nicholas Cage stealing the Declaration of Independence is implausible." <laughs> I was like, "Damn, that's fucking true!" Like, damn, so good. Oh, maybe we, before you get started, we can say. A oh, somebody donated a hundred. What the f? There's notice already, me. Yeah, hundred donation for notice me. Are you gonna charge that back? Wait, I. She actually. That same person donated. 200. Why? What's Maybe going on here? I do wonder if we should communicate to our viewers that we don't want it to become that kind of stream when we kind of like just shout out donations, right? Well, first of all, let's say thank you. Yes. We would, we thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, it's a thank good way. Thank you, thank I was, you. I was wondering if we should limit the donation cap. Yeah, because it, in a way it starts to make me feel bad. Yeah. I know we're going to miss some of them. We're because the nature of how we do it is we have topics to talk about. We don't necessarily want to just be like shouting out no. every minute. No. Usually I'll, I'll read a donation if it's just like an interesting comment or conversation start mm -hmm. or something. That's the instructions the guys have. Thank you, thank you for that $100 donation. What did she say the first time? What did she, what did she want to say? I haven't seen the first time. Uh, Somebody read it. Yeah, it, it, it says that she uh, is a cam girl who wears Teddy Fresh on cam. And she's being canceled on Twitter and villainized in her community, much like Trisha. Love you guys. Over what? What's her name? I'm interested. Uh, if you're in the Discord, uh, dot nilreb, uh, DM uh, Zach. Your story. I want to see, first of yeah. all, what's her name? D dot nilreb. <laughs> <laughs> it's dot nilreb. Dot nilreb. <laughs> I don't know if that's Bruh. what she goes by on OnlyFans. What do you do to get canceled on OnlyFans? Here's dot nil rib. Somebody look up the dot nil rib drama and and tell me if you can tell me if there's some dot nil rib drama because I I'm interested for sure. Someone posted a question um, in a donation. I don't see dot nil rib though, but go ahead, Yula. Ethan, I had a friend in high school who told me she thought everyone ate while pooping. Oh. She did it with a <laughs> cheeseburger most recently. She also pooped in the ocean both as an adult. Do you think either is normal? Okay, no. eating on the toilet on one hand... That's a big no for me. <laughs> okay, eating on the toilet... Sometimes I've... I've done it, but I don't think it's normal. Yeah. I mean, like I've like let's say if I'm finishing something. If you're finishing, let's a say bite let's say I'm on the last. Yeah, let's okay. say I'm on the last half, the okay. back half of a pizza slice, and then I've, I gotta take a dump. I'll bring it with me. But bringing a whole <laughs> cheeseburger in there is is pretty barbaric. I think both are pretty barbaric. I think in honest. general you should not bring food into the, into the bathroom. bathroom. Hey, it's yeah. all part of the process of life. In one hole, out the other. No. Yeah. I think it's a golden rule. So wait, what was and the then other they question? Eat the poo -poo. Wait, is this person you? You don't have this friend. This is you. Ah, that's funny. It's definitely you, but what was the other question? Pooping in the ocean. Oh, that is f what? <laughs> Wait, what's the context of that? You're not a fish. I know people say, little fish poop in the sh sea. Yeah, they're fucking live in the sea. Their sh poop is supposed to be in the ocean. The human turds is not supposed to be in the ocean, you absolute fucking freak. <laughs> but are you talking this about is sick. Are you talking about your deep sea fishing and you plop one overboard? Because that's what happens when you there shit on a no boat. There's no detail. They just ask, do you think either is normal? It depends. Are you talking about like you're at the beach and you go in and you just shit That's the what beach? I get Because that's yeah. for it. Because there's people there for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're like deep sea, then I guess it's normal. I mean, I would use a toilet, like civilized people. <laughs> Deepa! I need more details, I think. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, Dot Nilrib. Does she, is she really... Because I searched Dot Nilrib and I didn't see anything. Well, it's just her YouTube name. Again, I don't... But I have like seven subscribers. I, I don't know. Because I'm wondering, is anyone finding? Give us more info. Oh, here, Zach's of course found it. <laughs> the only fans expert. Okay, here we go. She only has 13 followers. What is she being canceled for? I, she didn't really specify in the message. I don't know. What the f? Okay, well, I find this story odd, and I wish you, 
I don't know how you can get canceled with 12 people following you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's Eba! just weird or no. <laughs> well, if you're, first of all, to be can't, the idea of being canceled means that enough people know about you to, to like, I you guess know. you get canceled in personal life. <laughs> That's more Is that like, what she means? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how you get canceled with 12 <laughs> followers on Twitter, but God bless. I wish you all the best, all right? I'm interested, though. So anyway, I was talking about... There's a lot of activity in the donations. I don't know how well, you Go ahead. Let's read it. If they're it. interesting stuff, let's go. Well, some of it is... Just well, hold on. Donut, Somebody... So. A.B., we we got to figure this out. Yeah, we got to figure this you're out. You're supposed to be on donations, right? You're You're reading donations. Yeah, I have them. I just don't know when to interrupt you guys. Always um, interrupt. Always interrupt. Well, well listen, we're are, talking about it now, so now's a good time to shout it out. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are, are about uh, how people want shout outs, but um, okay, I sent one right now in the Discord where it's for $10. We do not do shout outs with, with peace, peace and, and love. love. <laughs> with peace <laughs> and love. If you donate for a shout out, you will not be read. Okay. Peace and love. It almost looks like I'm, I'm warning you with peace and love. I'm warning you with peace and love. <laughs> your shout outs will not be read. <laughs> Questions for Dan and Ethan. Dan, what's your favorite King Gliz uh, Gizzard song? And Ethan, what's your favorite Grateful Dead song? I don't like these. I don't like this question. With peace and love. This is not. <laughs> this is not a good peace question love, for the podcast. Peace and love. With peace and love. <laughs> <laughs> How do I convey what How constitutes convey? a good question or not? But I think I, like conversation starters yeah. or continuation. If we talk about a topic and you have an opinion about it. I think generally speaking, if you're asking what's my favorite anything with peace and love, it's probably not a good question for the podcast. Right? Peace also, love, it's my birthday today. Love. Can you please? No, no, no with peace and love. <laughs> no birthday wishes on the podcast. <laughs> Peace and love. I'm peace warning love. you with peace and love. Stop! Yeah. Any birthday wishes will be thank ignored. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a separate doc where I, I'm copying the donations as they go through. But yeah, most of them aren't conversation starters. That's why I don't interrupt. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, as oh, I was saying, <laughs> what the F was that? It's, it's kind of Copeland. When I oh, said, Jesus. Oh, God, that's the best sound bite. Why is he whispering it? It sounds like he's oh, getting head. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. It's very uh, so, as I was saying, we are squashing the beef <laughs> with some of our biggest longtime YouTube rivals. Uh, this could have exploded. This could have turned really ugly. Really ugly. But just like Joe Biden, we are, what does he say? We are turning down the rhetoric. We are reconciling. Oh, we are uh, no. uh, united. We stand. Uh, uh, come on, man. Uh, come, come on, man. Come on, Jack. <laughs> cool it down, Jack. Joe yeah. Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. So first of all, <laughs> D'Angelo, who's calling in today at around 1 o'clock, uh, we're squash we had a huge beef with Giangelo who made a video attacking frenemies viciously. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was nice. But uh in his in his videos he um well we we went over it, but you know, I I contacted him and I said, Hey, let's do a call on the podcast and he put me in and he gave me an email that I forwarded to Dan. And then it was his man. I thought he was giving me his email, but it was his manager. I was like, ooh, I got big times <laughs> by D'Angelo. <laughs> Funnily yeah. enough, I gave him, I gave it to Dan. So we had people <laughs> talking. We had people talking you to kind people. Kind of big time him, yeah. We both big timed each other. <laughs> I feel like my big time was more justified because this is a Bruh. podcast and you're the producer. But he's, but you know what I mean? He's, he's I mean, a big God, guy. He's got a manager. Dude, D'Angelo's kind of a big deal, you guys. <laughs> it's awesome. I never understood what a manager for a YouTuber means. I gotta ask him. What does it mean? Maybe he's just his friend. 
Maybe it's just Maybe. him. Maybe it's just another <laughs> alias for him. I know people that do that. They set up like a manager alias, and it's just them. That's smart. It is kind of good. That you can is just kind like, of good. It adds a degree of separation. Didn't yeah. Trump, Trump used to do stuff like that? Oh, yeah, Trump. He did. <laughs> he John, to... John, John Barron was his uh, yeah. pseudonym that he was. Oh, was that was with the Twitter meme on. Yeah, that's why there was all I those did. accounts popping up. I John didn't Barron. realize. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. It's like a pseudonym. <laughs> I had a beat off. Yeah, he used to call in as his own publicist, and it was yeah. obviously him. Weird. Weird behavior. <laughs> Wasn't that the name for the Stormy Daniel shit, too? Wasn't it John Barron? I don't know. Say what? That's what I'm saying. He used that name for a lot of, like, it was his alter ego. Or is his alter ego. Love it. I love it. I love it. So, and anyway, he big-timed me. I big-timed him. It. We had people talking to people. Someone keeps saying that I'm pregnant. I gotta tell you, I'm not. Who's saying that? Why would they say that? I wish. Mm -hmm. We're trying. We're trying. It's not happening. I mean, it's just, it's, it's kind happening. of a good bet to just guess that she's pregnant at any time since we're trying. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you have a good shot. The universe so far is not wanting it to happen. <sighs> since we had Theodore, I want more kids now. I thought maybe two, but now I want three. I want five kids. I want seven kids. But trust me, as soon as it happens, we'll tell you. Like last time, we didn't even wait. We, we, like people usually wait the three months because you may have a miscarriage. I single-handedly disproved the bad luck. We said the podcast like, as soon as we find out. <laughs> well, people say it's bad luck, but I, we disproved that. It's not that. bad luck. It's stupid. It's just that they don't want to have to tell you when yeah. they have a miscarriage. But I think that's stupid, too, because so many people have miscarriages. People should know that happens. Spitting facts, queen. Right. <laughs> My queen do spit facts, though. So, not pregnant. But we are trying. We're about to start this, not we, Ela specifically is about to start this medicine that like... Not medicine, I have, a, I have a procedure to do. Right. I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that. I was talking about the medicine you'll take afterwards. Well, first I gotta do a procedure. You want to tell them about the procedure? I have uh, polyps. I don't even know what it means, but I gotta take them out. They just scrape them off, apparently. It's not a big deal, right? Uh, I think so. Like plaque. I like going to the vagin vagina dentist. <laughs> yeah. And then once that's done, <laughs> then you take this medicine that like rapid fire blasts your eggs out. Like buckshot. Instead of one egg, it's like a buckshot. Which interestingly, when you do that, it increases the chance of having twins as well. Right. Which could be wild. But hey, you know what would be cool? It... It, it's kind of cool because you're like, okay, I, that two for one, you know? Yeah, there's like, I guess that's the advantage of having twins. two for one. Let's fucking go. <laughs> you know, I don't have to go do this again. <laughs> right? I mean, that whole nine month process is pretty grueling at times. So, it's like a cheat code and in a way. And that is, by the way, next Friday, and we're going to need to discuss what to do with After Dark, but. We can talk about oh, that. Oh, because, right. Hmm. Well, obviously nothing comes, you know, nothing stops after dark, so you're going to have to get by <laughs> yourself. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Part of some coming. So anyway, I was talking about uh, D'Angelo. Um, so he big-timed me. And then he called, actually, he called out the crew members quite a bit. AB, you got called out big-time from D'Angelo. <laughs> Here, let me. He, he threw, I mean, yeah, he was throwing stones. Here. Video exposing Shallon Lester. He was like the first one to do it. And then she threatened him with the oh, lawsuit. Oh, just for context, he's, we're reacting to him. He's reacting to us. And now I'm reacting to him, reacting to us, we're reacting yeah, to I've him. I've got the box in the bottom right corner like him. So we have like an eternal recursion. It's awesome. It's great. Whoa! Shannon Lester. That's literally not what happened. Okay, I like him. I'm not going to war. It's a great war. I like the headphones. See? So to watch far, it. we're in a good... We like him. We, li we like him. <laughs> See? Uh, somebody in the chat says um, he 
he sided with you and was defending you during the uh, James Charles hoodie this debacle. Is oh, I love like him. He's my favorite. Watching our shows. Oh. Here, I'm gonna throw a like on it. <laughs> I knew. I'm giving that's that. absolutely not true. Definitely didn't happen. This is the second fact they've gave him that's just not true. Shalom Lester never hit me with a lawsuit. Literally, <laughs> I never made a public comment. I about the um. Well, now I want to know what he thinks about the hoodie. Yeah. So, if I may. Mm -hmm. He said, if you may sim, go ahead. I may. He said that literally we didn't know what we were talking about. We gave him uh, wrong information. Dan clearly said he was just reading a donation. And uh, <laughs> he did I say was that. just going off the cuff. Yeah, and I, I said, don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just reading what's in front of me. <laughs> and so I have his video down here on Shalon Lester, where he said that Shalon Lester was taking, uh, threatening him with legal action, that she was going to make a police report and threaten him with legal action. So, we weren't wrong. <laughs> you were close to the truth. You squared it up. I guess his point is that it never happened. Right. I said threaten, though. You did say threaten, huh? Well, what are we, what are we splitting hairs here for? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. But okay, oh, we're going to do some research. <laughs> but actually, the, the, pur the purpose he's calling is because, um, as I've said, this is a pro Shane podcast previously but i watched his whole series his whole tati shane yeah we both did and uh jeffrey series which was fantastic i have to say that mm -hmm. guy brought the mother loving receipts we actually had nothing to watch that night and we ended up just watching all of them i think i watched all of his like it's good his essays mm-hmm but the Shane one was brutal. It was like, holy fuck. Like, when I, when, just when I thought it couldn't get worse, this guy comes out with, like, the cr all this crazy yeah. shit, man. I was blown away by that. But I didn't want to talk to him about it, you know? <laughs> oh, the girl no! did clarify. She said that Twitter was made by <clears throat> someone else trying to cancel me. I don't have Twitter because of the hate. Oh. Can I call in to explain? There's a well, lot before of you call in, I need more backstory. Well, you guys can get the backstory. Yeah, you guys get the backstory. You gotta you reach out to Zach. Zach's the, the gatekeeper with, of the call. With peace and with peace and love, I don't want to be trapped in a call with you before I even know <laughs> if it's interesting or not. You know what I mean? With peace and I'm love. Warning like, you with peace and there's love. There's nothing worse than when you get a call for someone and then you realize it's not interesting and you don't want to be rude and hang up, but you're like, oh, brother. Oh, brother. <clears throat> yeah, we want to know what's the drama. Also, Zach, does she have a popular um, OnlyFans? Like, what's is she in the top ech echelon? I will look into it. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm about to have a diva moment. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> <clears throat> I won't say it. I'm being theatrical. I'm not actually like angry. I don't. I'm just having to... Oh God. Dead air. Anyway, um, he's going to call in. And then our Maybe. other... Should we just have him? Because that's in like 13 minutes. I don't want to go into the next story necessarily. True. And we're going to have to do the ad reads right before uh, he calls in. So um. There is a lot going on in the chat. I don't know. There's a lot of activity? Yeah. yeah. What are they saying? Maybe. Well, a good quarter of it's about Shoe Nice. Um, <laughs> oh, Shoey? <laughs> yeah, he's, about Shoey. he's all up in the chat right now. Is Shoey causing trouble? No, he's being he's being, he's no, being he's, good. He's behaving himself. Okay, good. Yeah. good. Don't blow up our chat, Shoe. Don't make me... She said she's not on OnlyFans. So what is she... You, said so you, were on, you know what? What is the story with this girl? <laughs> what? Who are you? Why are people canceling you? You don't have an OnlyFans. You don't have a Twitter. You said, what am I missing? She a, said she I was a cam girl. On. Yeah, it, sorry, but... Zach, no, bring no me information. Don't just say this she's is, not on OnlyFans. I want the story, man. This is all she gave me. This literally... I don't have OnlyFans. <laughs> don't girl, you wanted else. my attention. I'm here. I'm begging you for details. Details. That's literally all she said. All right, I'm skipping it. You're can You know what? Not only are you canceled on the internet, you canceled by me you canceled too. Canceled on the history podcast. You're canceled. Oh no. I have a comment from Shoe Nice. Um, anyone ever poop out a pine cone? Uh, no. No. Did he? I'm assuming that's why he's <laughs> asking. Shoe Nice. Somebody donated a hundred dollars. Said, "How's the weight loss journey, Ethan?" Oh. 
Mm. Petty hundred. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I mean, I've been exercising every night. I've been every day, every night. I get yeah. on the, I get on the treadmill. By the way, this treadmill was one of the best investments for me. So I'm walking for like an hour plus and playing video games. Mm-hmm. It's kind of epic. I have my controller. I'm walk, I'm walking and playing. I already beat the Demon Souls remake. Mastered it, slammed it, destroyed it, and now I went back and I'm playing Dark Souls One. Which, by the way, at this point in the game, I'm pretty much invincible. <laughs> like the Four Kings, that's apparently a hard fight, Dan. It's a decent challenge. Yeah. I popped down there. I literally just tanked him through everything and one shot him. I yep. mean, I didn't die. You have lost your sleeping schedule completely. I know it's such a fucking mess. Because of that. But can you believe? Are you? Can you believe that, Dan? I can believe it. I mean, you're doing the meme. If if anybody's familiar with Dark Souls, Ethan literally did the meme build without even realizing it. <laughs> he, he's he's got the giant dad build. So anybody that that knows, uh, and you are kind of a giant dad. That's I'm a giant like, dad. Look at you. So, but I gotta say, when you when you pitch that idea of the treadmill and the playing video games while you walk out, mm-hmm. I didn't. You thought I it was thought stupid. that was stupid. I didn't think you would actually do it. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> and it's all like, well, last night we were watching this Netflix documentary about yeah. Night Stalker. Pretty good, by the way. Very disturbing. It's a new. Uh, Very disturbing. Man, that guy was a sick mother. Netflix. Yeah. It's great, dude. Oh, look at that. Ethan's, Ethan's hair, hair looks, looks bomb. so bomb. I just saw that too. <laughs> okay, so Ethan keeps thinking that he has to wear a beanie because his hair doesn't look good, and I it's don't get that. that. It's just, it looks disheveled. You oh, got great not. hair. Well, why don't you fill me in? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, your hair's great all the time. Where about, where's my compliments? We were all complimenting okay. you this morning. We're well, after we already... You know, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. So what did she say? I saw her do an update. Let's get to Obama. And we've spent too much on this girl. She says she's top 50 of cam something. My free cams. Why is she being canceled? That's all. She I just want the story. Have she doesn't have shit. She doesn't have shit. It's I, so I just, stupid. You I have wasted so much part of the show. She doesn't I just have shit. An expert of why she's canceled, and it's not really, you know. Tell me now. I'm in too deep. You tell me why she's canceled, and I'll Open be the, the Discord. I'm not. I can't move on. Tell me, Ian. Open the Discord. There's a thing right there. Okay. Thank you, Ian. Coming with facts. Don't fucking hell. What is this? Constant, subtle, backhanded compliments to elevate themselves over mo- what? Like one time calling. Like, w- what the expose account was posting is just stuff like this one time calling me their realistic goals unlike what does this mean unlike other models they do not care (laughs) offering meetups and giving away phone number out easily as if to show they're different from other models oh my god do you really think that we can relate to this (laughs) this is like cam girl drama Offering to have both of us meet up with one of my highest tippers who lives in CA and stays in my house without ever asking me. What are you talking about? (laughs) Cam girl drama. (laughs) Don't meet with your biggest tippers. Trust me. She's saying she's being canceled because she has borderline personality disorder. Ah. I can't speak on that. Yeah. We're I, seeing a lot of stop in the chat. Stop! stop. With, peace, with peace and love, no one cares. So we're going to move on. Thank you. You got D'Angelo in the lobby yet? Or? Stop! <laughs> Look, we we had to check. Yeah, let's get D'Angelo on the line, eh? Or he's, let's do the copy. He's going to call in exactly at 1 o'clock. It, it, he's such a big time. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that was per my instructions. Yeah, but, like, what? He's not flexible at all? He's like... Well, I just told him it was a live show, and we're going to bring him in at 1 o'clock, so call so him right at 1. So we didn't ask him to be flexible. He's, he's just punctual, not, unlike some people on the show. Let's not spread misinformation here. All right, let's do some copy while we wait for D'Angelo, and then we could squash the beef, and then we move on to Charlie, who we squash the beef with as well, which so is fantastic. Getting, we're, so te- we're tenderizing. Squashing. We're tenderizing. Today. Really, I, I, I have to say I'm very happy with Critical. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel that we might be able to give him a grace foot rating on Wikifeet. After watching his video, which he we'll did, do. He did 
complain that we we <laughs> tanked his rating. He was a little sad about it. So maybe it was funny can, though. It was funny, and he did kind of you know bow to the king, baby. He kissed the ring a little bit on that. <laughs> That's all. Or the he kissed the um, the foot ring. <laughs> How do you feel about fit, foot jewelry, Eva? Hate it. Yeah, hate I'm not it. a fan of foot rings. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. It's like it's. I so want to smell feet. Like I, I never said that. But like, uh, like let's say an ankle bracelet. Okay. Yeah. Once you get beyond the ankle, insanity. Toe ring. It's like you toe really forcing like, that shit. Like you like jewelry, but let's be honest, the toe does not need a ring. Nah. It looks ridiculous too. Like imagine trying to put a ring on a toe. It's like it's just not. It's just not right. No. Nah. nah, bro. No. Nah. All right, let's do our copy. I want copy. to smell feet. Guys, we're going to read the copy, and then D'Angelo's going to uh, join us, right? That is correct. Okay, let's start with Upstarts. 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 Oh, nice. You know that credit card, the one you're afraid to look at as to see what the balance is? If you've been avoiding paying your debt off, it's time to confront it. Upstart can help you face and finally pay it off. All right. <laughs> Upstart is the fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half of a million people use Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they because they ass, assess more than just your credit score. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans for more for from one thousand to fifty thousand dollars. Did that make sense? What I was reading it. I was kind of messing up a lot, so I'll read that line again. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front. That's the name of the company. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe it should be up front. It's upstart, it's upstart, to be very clear. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front. For loans from $1,000 to $50,000. They're going to give one of you guys $50,000 a loan? It's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just generous. <laughs> you can get approved the same day and can receive funds. Dan's doing this to me. That's the problem with doing these live is that you can't, you can't redo it, but it's okay. That's the nature of the beast. We're having fun out here. Uh, you can get approved the same day and can receive funds as fast as one business day. If debt is taking over your life, it's time to get a fresh start with Upstart. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash h3. That's upstart.com slash h3. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash h3. All right. Next up is Keeps. This hair stuff is amazing. This is for keeping your hair. It just I always think of the, the Seinfeld episode where George Costanza was trying to cure his baldness and he got the weird cream from China that smelled. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it's happening. People are keeping their hair now. Mm. Look at these before and afters. I don't want to show the copy, but... I mean, I'm going to read it, but... This is apparently real, real photos. Look at that shit. Wow. Before six month difference. Look at this. Whoa. Dude, that guy that guy scored big time with keeps. You know what I mean? That's wild. Look at this guy, dude. It's beautiful. That's really I gotta say I'm impressed. Yeah, me too. Five months. Keeps your hair. Hmm? So it's the real deal, folks. Alright, let me tell you a little bit about keeps. Listen. Much of our identity is wrapped up in our hair. We don't love it. It's just the way it is. Look at me. People are fawning over my hair. They are throwing themselves at me, worshipping my hair. Right. 
all the comments about how good my hair looks. I don't choose to have fabulous hair. It's just the way it is. Sorry to be flexing on you guys who need this medicine. From now, it I'm sorry. It's in it's insensitive to be flexing on them right now. No good. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell I'm fucking up the copyright because everybody's just like, "Come on, we're having fun." <laughs> From how it feels after getting a fresh cut to the way it's perfectly styled before going out. That's why when we get into our 20s and 30s and start noticing the first sign of hair loss, it definitely feels like panic. I feel like I just read that, but I didn't understand anything I read. You know when you do that? Just get to it. Okay, let me read that again because I feel like... I, did it make sense? Because I like totally zoned out on it. As, okay, as guys, so much of our identity is wrapped up in our hair. And how it feels after getting a fresh cut. That's why when we get into our 20s and 30s, we start noticing the first signs of hair loss. It definitely feels like panic time, folks. Because let's face it, no guy's ever ready to go bald. Thankfully, now there's Keeps, the simple and easy way to keep your hair. Hmm. Hmm. You used to go to the doctor's office to get hair loss prescriptions. Now, with Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medicine delivered right to your door. That makes it easy and deliver your medicine every three months so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and awkward doctor visits. Boom. This is FDA-approved hair loss products. You have maybe tried them before, but never for this price. The prevention is key. Keep tre keeps treats... T keep... 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 keep Keep treatments typically take between four to six months to see results, so it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you'll save. Found out why Keeps has five-star reviews, more than any of its competitors, and more than 100,000 men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention medicine. Keeps treatments start at just $10 a month, plus a limited time you can get your first month for free. Booyah, mother effers. <sighs> yada 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 host must uh, voice offer let's do that where's the offer where's the offer guys call to action if you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss go to keeps.com slash h3 to receive your first month of treatment for free that's k e e p s dot com slash h3 Host must spell out website keeps.com at least once. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. That was brutal, huh? <laughs> good though. I feel like it was good. I mean, if people want either of those, you know, if people want either of those products, they got all the information they need. Yep. All right. Uh, well, D'Angelo is in the waiting room. Shall okay, I uh, good. bring him Perfect in? Perfect timing. Let's bring him out. <laughs> Stand by. Letting him in now. I closed my document on accident. Shit. And he is coming in right. There's a link to it in this I got it. Thank you. I see him. Hello. Oh. I hear him. There he is. Hi. Do you see Hi. us? Hello. Yeah, you look fantastic. Peace and love. You look fantastic too. <laughs> Thank Here, you. let me pin your video so I don't see all these goofballs. Actually, can you pin him down or do I need to do that? You can pin it on your computer, or I can just do it for you. Um, whoops. Here, I, I, I can do it. D'Angelo! Let's go, D'Angelo! Wait, wait, can you bring hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. How are you, my dude? I'm doing fine. Just, you know, boring YouTube stuff. The website's acting super weird, so I couldn't get a video up today. So now I don't know what to do with myself. Hmm. <laughs> Those YouTube dramas. So, oh, he, so first of all, D'Angelo did not appreciate being called a drama channel. And no, I that's not what I said. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this yeah, is a I good point. YouTube it was a drama. <laughs> you can't upload a video. But he made a good point, Ela. He said, we're as much drama as he is, and I agree. Right. There's you don't no. consider yourself a drama channel, right? I, I don't know. I, I try not to be too touchy about it. it it's Honestly, a derogatory. The content is what it is. Right. Yeah. 
I kind of learned to deal with um, the it is what it is approach. Well, drama. At, at some point, I thought we weren't drama, but we. I was like, oh my are. god, we're drama channel. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Right. No, I just try to have fun. So okay, we have some. First of all, we're squashing our beef right now. Do you want to show? Do you want to maybe put show your feet so we can get you on Wiki Feet or no? <laughs> Um, we would have to wait. I don't, I'm not like mentally there yet. Oh, if you're we, not do, we have to do it the right way. We can't right, halfway yeah, do okay. it. I just wanted to give you the I opportunity. I want to smell feet. Because <laughs> we have such a powerful wiki foot bump that you'll probably be number two on the website if you did that. But That's iconic. Not to force you, not to force you, you know, but I want to pray for you. No, I know who to call now when we yeah, get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably won't be soon. <laughs> it probably won't be too long. Okay, good. That's nice to hear. Um, what is, so also I noticed, um, so you gave me your email, it was your manager's email, I feel like you big timed me a little bit, is, did you big time me? No, no, I just, I try not to read emails, <laughs> my manager takes care of all of that, because That's my awesome. problem is, when I scroll through my own email, I tend to say yes to everything, mm. um, which is not good because people come in with like the craziest offers. So instead, my manager just looks at all of that stuff and handles oh, it. He's like, he does your emails? I love that. Way better at handling those kind of things. Because if you guys had left this to me, I would not be here right now. <laughs> my time management <laughs> skills are not not on the same level as you guys. You have like a well-oiled machine. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We started 25 minutes late today. We, right? so. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, well was that. it 25? <laughs> well, yeah, because it was 12, Bruh. 10. It wasn't 25. Plus 15. Let's not bicker in front of D'Angelo. He thinks we have a well-oiled machine. <laughs> <laughs> take it. Take it. <laughs> All right. So, AB actually uh, has beef. AB, uh, do you want to? Definitely. Yeah. He says... <laughs> <laughs> AB... Well, he wanted to defend himself a little bit. AB, uh, if you want to maybe discuss that uh, i said i'm a fan of d'angelo <laughs> d'angelo has the beef he said he has a beef with me just well, a beef a beef, a beef. A beef. <laughs> well you know it's so okay we want this is stupid who cares i want to talk about the shane thing same so the shane thing was um by the way we loved watching your videos oh yeah we went Thank on a marathon mm -hmm. i watched all three i watched the shane i watched the jeffrey i watched the tati yeah i watched the blair white <laughs> and I watched the um Wait, oh you watched You didn't watch the Blair White, yeah. Uh, I went on you went to bed and I kept well, watching. Yeah, stay up all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> um so okay. The Shane thing, yeah. There's uh, so much disturbing behavior in there. It's really bizarre. Really, it's true. I didn't there, so I knew a lot of it, but actually, your video had even more than what I knew about. Mm -hmm. Is Shane just like pr the chances are? I don't know anything about Shane, so I'm just going off the cuff here. But my take on Shane is that he's a obviously a disturbed person who was probably traumatized as a child through some kind of abuse, which is probably the reason why he doesn't know how to tell what's appropriate way to interact mm -hmm. and joke about sexual things. And that's that's how I see that. Yeah. S and not to excuse his behavior, right, but I just, that's how I see it. So I don't know, what's the solution with Shane, in your opinion? Is he, can he ever come back to YouTube? Or like, what do we do, what, what, tell me what to think about Shane. It certainly raises a lot of questions in terms of when you have creators who don't set boundaries for themselves, mm. but then they kind of get this giant platform, like mm. whose job is it necessarily to set that boundary? Definitely not mine. <laughs> Definitely not yours. We don't have the power. YouTube has done what it's done. They even did take some of their own action at one point temporarily demonetizing him. But as far as whether or not he should come back, I mean, from a business standpoint, this is where he is, you know? Um, logically, I'm sure he'll be back at some point throughout the year. I mean, at that point, I won't have anything to do with it. But I think it just it raised a lot of questions about how much people are willing to put aside in order to watch, you know, their favorite creator, if you will. But as for like, where do we draw the line? I don't know, because all I can do is really just draw attention to things. You know what I mean? Right. I can't. I'm mm. certainly no arbitrator, nor do I try to be. Well, I have to say, I was super impressed with the quality of your video and the depth of research. I thought it was f freaking phenomenal. And the way that you presented it was, was super good. 
So Thank I you. do think the praise is yeah. warranted. I think the hype is warranted with D'Angelo Wallace. And I recommend that Shane <laughs> video. You know, it's like, I knew about like the weird sexualization with I mean, kids. Yeah, we've stuff. talked about uh, a lot of it ourselves on the on our podcast a while ago, but still watching your whole video kind of put it in a deeper perspective because you did have more than we knew of, and seeing it all together. Well, dude, there was like the animal stuff the when anim I saw all that put together. I was <laughs> yeah. like, holy smokes! The animal stuff was really weird to me. I'm one of the people, to be quite frank, that always believe that cat story. <laughs> it's, it's just way too detailed, bro. <laughs> it's just way too detailed. <laughs> And when he's telling that story, it's not, he's not kidding. I think he jizzed on his cat. Comments? <laughs> Certainly no more comments than I've given in that video. <laughs> I, I just, I try not, I try not to waste people's time. I definitely Ooh. understand, like, the image that I'm putting forth on YouTube. A lot of it, at first glance, just seems very inflammatory, very long. So, I figure if, if people per chance, click into the videos. Hopefully I'll give them something that's actually worth watching. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, this is my job. There is a certain way to do it in order to maximize clicks. But I don't think that means you have to waste people's time per se. So I do, I try to structure my videos in a way where if you come, then you're getting the information. Mm -hmm. Things that you can actually back up and mm -hmm. things are not just speculation. And so they certainly do take like a little longer to make. I certainly wind up being late to a lot of situations because of that. But I just, it's the way I enjoy creating that sort of long form content. Chad is saying the interview is going to end frenemies. I disagree. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying this is going to end frenemies? <laughs> That's what people are saying in the chat. I, oh, snap. I think that, look, the <laughs> Shane topic is just really complicated. Yeah. She's just... He's, um, obviously we met him in person when we did the podcast. It was nice. It was never not nice to us. But um, all the stuff that are pointed out about him are definitely things worth talking about because he does have a big platform. And... I think if anything, it's really important that he gets to come to terms with his issues and work on them. Mm -hmm, I don't. Sure. I don't think anyone should be just canceled to oblivion and not be able to work on himself and see where things go. You know, the, I don't think that's a healthy approach for anyone. Well, like I said, my I speculate that it comes from a place of deep trauma in his own life. Yeah. I know he's hinted that he's been abused right mm -hmm, yeah. as a child but i don't think he's ever specifically said so it's tough it, it is a tough situation you know like when you compare shane to someone like let's just say chris delia who also got canceled last year like shane correct me if i'm wrong but when i say something like shane didn't necessarily well i guess it's not necessary to when i say shane didn't really do he, he, there was like victimless crimes, you know what I mean? But, but what, how would you say to that? If I said, well, Shane, was, it's just Shane different. is just kind of perverted, but he's, it's more about like didn't really inappropriate do. stuff, um, done on video. And I, I think it's like what you said that he has no, he doesn't understand what's appropriate or not appropriate. And when well, would you say that Shane doesn't have any victims? Do you think that's a appropriate, uh, description? From a legal standpoint, unlike <laughs> unlike um, a lot of other creators, there's certainly nothing there. And I even made sure to um, specify in that video, you know, I'm not accusing him of any crimes or anything mm -hmm. like that. As far as people just being affected by what he was doing in a negative way, there are certainly people who have said that's their experience with that. I mean, it's not something I have experience with, but you would really have to ask the people, you know, saying that. Hmm. What's your story? You're like a you're like a smart, eloquent guy. Are you in college? Are you out of college? What's the deal with you? Oh, I graduated in um 2019 at Our Lady of the Lake University. It was a fun time. <laughs> Are you? Well, people were trying to speculate if you're married or single. Yeah. <laughs> I am not married. <laughs> not at the moment, anyway. Who knows? It's all subject to change. Uh, subject Actually, to change. I think I graduated in 2018. I don't know why I just said 2019. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But you were close. I, I was, I was going to get there eventually. <laughs> what did you major in? Mass communication with a concentration in digital film and television production. Perfection. 
That's awesome. <laughs> so how old are you? You grew up watching YouTube, I'm assuming you're of that age. Yeah, I'm 22. Yeah. I grew up watching, I wouldn't say I grew up watching YouTube, but in my teens, that's definitely when I got super into it. Mm. I was introduced to all of these people. I was like, holy crap, <laughs> you can upload videos to a website and this can be your job. Yeah. You can get rich from this kind of thing. A lot of your videos I was watching at that time as well. So Thank it's you. all pretty exciting oh. stuff. So that Shane video was kind of like a big turning point. I remember you said you went from like 10,000 to a million subscribers in that one year. Is that right? Um, it was somewhere like, that was 2020, right? So it was somewhere along like 300K to 1.5 million or something like that. Damn. Yeah, it was certainly, certainly a big jump. Um, it definitely put, it definitely changed a lot of the way that I had to approach my videos in the future. Because I think when you have, you know, when you don't have to answer to as many people, maybe you can get away with a few mistakes here and there. Mm -hmm, but now I really sure. look at my content as like, if I'm putting this out and this many people can potentially be viewing it, I have to make sure <laughs> that I'm not putting things out that I'm gonna wind up regretting or things that can be easily disproven or anything like that. So I just think the main thing is it just motivates me to try even harder, I think with my long form content. Now my shorter videos are just for fun. I don't, <laughs> I definitely don't care about those as much. Right, right, but right. Um, yeah, that's the main thing I would say that changed. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. You're definitely a high quality content creator, man. There's not many people on YouTube these days that I can actually watch their, <laughs> especially an hour long video, so. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, Jeffree Star is always... Oh, my God. <laughs> the Jeffree Star video was great. You know, I still don't know what to make of that guy, to be honest with you. I definitely don't know. Especially not with 2021 starting off with rumors of Jeffree Star and Kanye doing whatever the heck they were doing <laughs> in those rumors. I, people were asking me for my take on that as well, too, because I guess I accidentally became the Jeffree Star guy. Yeah. And I was like, listen, <laughs> I don't fault you for asking, but in 2021, there's like a list of people who I'm working really hard to not give any mental space. And coincidentally, Jeffree Star and Kanye West are both very close to the top of that yeah. list. So when I saw them coincide, I was like, this is a sign. <laughs> I was surprised at Jeffree Star's background. I had no idea because I feel like I didn't even know about him before. And I kind of just started to hear about him f just like with all the makeup drama. So I, I only mm -hmm. knew him as like the makeup person. But I, his background is pretty wild. With all it the is. He really came. It's sad that I... Um... It's sad that the video wound up being what it is just because of his pattern of behavior. But mm -hmm. beyond all of that, there really is like a rags to riches story. He's come very mm -hmm. far while being himself. And I'm like, why can't that, you know, be your biggest, <laughs> your biggest attribute. But instead we get all the crazy stuff that wound up in my video. Yeah. Dude, the theory about him, um, fake that big makeup heist that was like all over the news. It makes so much sense. Your theory, right? and it is just a theory. Just <laughs> Pure to, speculation, of just course. To, just to cover our asses here. But it makes so much sense. Like, why would anybody steal makeup and then try to s sell stolen makeup? Like, it, but th also there's it literally like no value uh, to that. Like a heist from an action movie with the, <laughs> right. You come from the top with the just to ropes steal some like lip lip gloss or some jump shit through the laser beams. So just to fill I mean, you guys in, D'Angelo speculated that Jeffrey's whole. I, you guys might remember when it was huge in the news, all over the, mm -hmm. everywhere that he had like millions of dollars of makeup stolen. And the story was always a little bit fishy to me, but D'Angelo speculates that he faked it in order to hype up his next release which, which was would be crazy because i would never even consider that someone would do something like that well it were i mean also props to him i yeah. also i do think it's probably it's definitely fraud you can't just can you just say that your shit was stolen i don't know <laughs> i don't think you should be able to i don't know it's weird that the media ate it up so much but I also it's something that I, I try to be careful of myself because one of the things I realized is when you have enough followers, people will just take what you're saying as fact without mm -hmm. looking into it themselves. And it's like, it's a double-edged sword, most certainly. On the one mm -hmm. hand, 
I guess you could say that's a good thing. But on the other hand, I get scared sometimes because I even see myself like implying things in videos or me not being clear about things and mm. then people just running with it. And I can't then say, well, hey, you know, this is your fault for doing this. I have to recognize, oh, snap, I have a track record. I can see why people are just taking this at face value. So even at that, I understand why he would just say this happened in a video with no evidence. Right, and then it just because it makes up. more sense to believe that I think than to disbelieve that. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand why it was like never questioned, but because when I was writing that video, I was already in the frame of mind of questioning like everything, <laughs> and I wanted to back up everything. When I started running into what, in my opinion, was zero proof of this actually happening, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, is there actually nothing here? And so I just left it very open-ended. I was like, of course I cannot prove that something did not happen. That's much more difficult to prove than something happening. But at the same time, I wanted to pose the question, like, how much can we really believe? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there's, a, there's crates of concealer somewhere and we demand answers. Right? <laughs> no, but either way, the thing about that too is whether it was real or not, which of course we'll never have the answer, you cannot deny that the promo it caused was yeah. far more than and he could sympathy, have paid for. Yeah, for sure. I remember I watched that whole video and I don't follow anything Jeffree Star. Oh, it was like trending. It was that huge. That video was huge. Yeah. You, know what's, you know what's so crazy? We have a Teddy Fresh release coming out um, next week and like, Someone broke into our warehouse and stole <laughs> like half of the shit. And I'm just saying to all the news outlets watching, it was crazy. They, like, there was a shootout too. There was a shootout. Yeah. Somebody died, but anyway, we got rid of the body, but the clothes are gone. That's the most important thing. Teddy Fresh Capital Raid. I was there, by the way, live streaming it. <laughs> oh, you were live streaming too? <laughs> the Teddy Fresh Capital Raid, yes. I took charge on that oh, one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, D'Angelo, I'm looking forward to your next uh, content. I will be watching it. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, it's going to be pretty great. Pretty great. And you guys. Oh, wait. Okay. Fun fact. If I can just throw out a little spoiler there. The video is about COVID-19 and you guys are actually heralded as a very positive example. Because <gasps> yes, been... I knew I loved oh, you. <laughs> I love D'Angelo. I knew that yes. this guy was the best creator on YouTube. Yeah. I you love you. A few <laughs> channels who are always like testing mm. at the one point when some of your crew members got COVID, they were separated. You guys mm. were just making sure everything's right through all the tests. And I'm like, okay, if the H3 can do it, I tr nobody, ha nobody else has an excuse. Clearly you can mm. continue running a big show with a bunch of people. You oh, don't yeah. have to Thank pretend like COVID doesn't that. exist. Well, we moved our whole operation to our basement because we didn't want to be in a small space together. When the, We've been mm -hmm. in our freaking basement for like almost a year now. I get frustrated with other people though who are not being safe and are mm -hmm. not being honest with their Dude, followers i am so down to watch that video because there are so <laughs> many creators that are yeah. just so fucking irresponsible have you seen the video of when tanner fox calls logan paul and jake paul no oh bro i'll oh, wait that. is it the one where he said i have covid and he's like oh i don't care yeah, yeah. we don't care <laughs> <laughs> and then, so jake paul but first Logan of all paul goes has a podcast with guests he on. sits right across from <laughs> guests and he oh, man. it's cr like literally tanner calls logan and he goes i don't give a fuck but thanks for letting me know <laughs> and then he like, proceeds to do heck? a podcast with people in person yeah yeah, we have the sound bites. I don't know if you can hear our sound bites. Go ahead. Jack. I can. They're oh, fantastic. <laughs> so that's Jake. Go ahead. Play Jake. I don't really give a fuck. But that was Logan. <laughs> and then play it's the guy screaming in the background of the Jake call. We don't care. That was his friend in the background. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Tana, there's a Tana Mojo clip as well. That might be a great soundbite where her and her friend are like, we don't effing care. And yeah. they claim that uh, it was not yeah. about Zach, the pandemic. Do we have that they... soundbite? I, you know, it wasn't clear enough audio because uh -huh. there was... We oh. tried. <laughs> we already tried. Oh, it would have been fantastic. Been down that road. <laughs> <laughs> now, D'Angelo, just if you want to sing my praises even more, I'm just going to let you... I'll just bring you in, maybe give you some intel. Back when COVID start was starting to peak out, I made a whole podcast about it when people said I was being an alarmist and <laughs> people were calling me a fear monger. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, back boy. in like February. And I just want to say that, uh, you know. Kind of a global pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I just want to say I was right. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, what is so this? How do you feel about frenemies? How do I feel about frenemies? <laughs> he made a whole video about it. I know, but now <laughs> no, we got no, no, no. It's a good question. It's a good question. I look. I was very clear in that video that I watch frenemies. Yeah. I did not want to frame it as like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad, and I don't take yeah. part in this. Yeah. And I did watch your last episode as well. Let me just tell you, that was surreal. I started watching it as soon as it came out. So then we're only on episode what sixteen, something like that. And now, like, I was featured in the beginning of it. <laughs> <laughs> so the journey from just, like, a listener to winding up as one of the topics was so yeah. funny. So I'll take I'll take what I can get. Half of the Frenemies podcast really likes me. So that, that works for me. We can bump it up to 100% later in the future. Well. Oh, my God. I do, I do think that the clout transfer is complete. Although I have to say, oh, you, did, would, you did me kind of dirty. You put my DMs in the thumbnail without telling me. That's a big no-no on YouTube. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I didn't just put them in the thumbnail. I opened them on stream. That was crazy. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> like, I know it was all good, but I was like, you can't do that. <laughs> no, if it was anything that made you look any kind of bad, I would have just <laughs> kept that to myself. But yeah, you were just like, you, you were so real. nice. I think that's what was throwing me off a bit. Because, um, I mean, I was... I try to be even. You can't be even and be human, but I try to be even with all of my criticism. So I was mm -hmm. grateful, I think, that you kind of saw down the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like I said about the podcast, I don't have 100% negative feelings about it. I really do believe all the things I said in the beginning, too, about it being a more realistic portrayal of Trisha and about your friendship being real, even though a lot of people say it's fake, and just about how funny it is. So I was glad that that didn't get lost in like the criticisms at the end. But I will say like multiple sound bites of Trisha Paytas saying, I hate D'Angelo Wallace. It's kind of iconic. Like, yeah, I can't lie, that's kind of sure. iconic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, Trisha will never like you, wow, I'm afraid. But, yeah. but on, on my side of the desk, we are stands. Yay, and, and I'll just, take it. I, I have no criticism of you. Mm, maybe you should. <laughs> I try, I try to be, I try to be as far, open. I as of right open. now, I have no criticism, but I'll tell you what, the moment I have one, you'll be damn sure to hear about it live. <laughs> Perfect. What, Perfect. What, Dan? What'd you say? Ask about the James Charles hoodie. What oh, James, James Charles hoodie. So, oh yeah. So you said you never publicly defended me. So do you think James Charles ripped me off here and now live on the H Street podcast? James Charles color block hoodie. Yes. Rip off. No. <laughs> Bro, you're asking me to sacrifice my James Charles Twitter follow? I'm going to have to do some cloud oh, computations. You? Is this worth it? Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, you're the ma you uh -oh. spit the facts. That's it. That's oh, your own All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> yes, either James or somebody on his design team. It was almost a 1-1. Thank you, you. thank you, thank you, D'Angelo. You heard it here. I knew that my faith in D'Angelo was not misplaced. <laughs> oh my God, this is the tea. But we want <laughs> what? No one tell him anything, so he keeps the phone. Yeah, nobody, nobody send this clip to James. <laughs> right, Charles. he'll never know. <laughs> sister, uh, sister snatch. All right, D'Angelo, I'll let All you right. go. <laughs> Thank oh, you so much. Fun. It was fun. Yeah, Thank it was you. a great time. We appreciate you. We think you're great. Wow, Everybody go check out his snapped. channel. And um, I actually, I'm really looking forward to that COVID video. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Somebody needs oh, to yeah. do that video. So January 31st. It's nice. my one plug. I had to take it. <laughs> really? You're planning that? You're planning to be like, you have that specific of a deadline yeah, that you're going to hit? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Oh, no, it's just, like, that's the latest possible time I can get it up contractually <laughs> because there's a brand deal in it. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, the brand deal. The brand yes. Deal. Sister. Okay. I know that. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you guys later. All Thank right. you so much for having me. All right. Take Thank care, D'Angelo. God bless. All right. Bye. All right, bye. We love D'Angelo. snatched. And that was fun. I'm so happy that hey, you said... Hey, we're making friends of, on YouTube. I know, the pop, like, we are making friends on YouTube. <laughs> which is something I never really did. <laughs> you know, he's... D'Angelo is someone that speaks only the truth. Yeah. He walks the center line, like... What was Buddha's name? Siddhartha? Yeah. But like Siddhartha himself. <laughs> and yet, even D'Angelo, who under risk of being unfollowed by James Charles, <laughs> said, and I quote, it was basically a one-for-one one copy. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs>
Love to hear it. Yeah, his his Shane video was really okay, good. Okay, cool. But I'm still torn on like. I'm still torn on. I personally don't think Shane is a bad person. Like I like I keep saying is I think it's just a dude who's deeply disturbed and traumatized, and doesn't know where the line is. You know. Yeah, I mean, hopefully during this time he's actually getting to really disconnect for a moment and just kind of like work on his on himself. I'd like to think if he does come back that he'll. Well, you know, people are saying you didn't mention the part about Shane being racist. Oh, right. You're right. I didn't. Yeah, the racist shit was brutal, actually. I totally forgot. There were well, so was many so pieces. Much. Honestly, yeah. I think people should watch that video. It is really good. <laughs> there was so much, which is why yeah, I didn't even right. try to get into it. I totally forgot. But, like, yeah, I mean, so <clears throat> the racist shit was pretty brutal. He had... Like, he did blackface. Like, it, actually, he made a really funny point in his video. He said he did blackface more often than he did, uh... Um, what? makeup? Or what was it? Oh, yeah, because he was saying he's a beauty... He was a beauty YouTuber. So he has more blackface videos than makeup videos. Because <laughs> he used to do it so much back in the day. Also, and, what I like that D'Angelo showed is that, um saying that that was okay at the time like it kind of showed how that's just not true even at the time when those were made that was not okay <laughs> he dude he is a really pers he his videos are really really well put together mm -hmm. i'm i super impressed yeah he made a super compelling argument that like people used to be edgy right but people didn't just used to wear blackface for the sake of wearing blackface. And he compared it, for example, to like Jimmy Kimmel has this notorious uh, bit where he used to go all black body and do a Carl Malone bit. And the thing is, like, Shane's blackfaceness didn't really contribute anything to the joke. It was literally just blackface. And also, he was ma he, he he like in just kind of like in a bad way, like this. Yeah, like in a bad and, way. Yeah. And also, like he showed back in the day, he was he would just make like really terrible black people jokes too. Mm -hmm. It was like I was like whoa. It's tough. I was like when whoa. You see it, when you see the whole picture, it's really <laughs> tough to to take it all in. It's a lot. But I do feel that Shane is someone who is willing to be as outrageous as possible to get a laugh, and I think that's what. He doesn't understand the the border, but I, I, it was a great. I mean, watch it and decide for yourself. You know that video definitely does deserve all the views it has. So we have a comment from an ex Mormon. I would like to explain the magic underwear. Mm. Also, I have a foot fetish. Whoa! Can you have a foot <laughs> fetish as a Mormon? We said ex Mormon. Oh, okay. ex Mormon. I wonder if he had to decide between feet and Mormon. <laughs> yeah, I actually. I want to smell feet. Throughout this week, um, got messaged by a. About like five or six Mormons who are fans of the show, which big I, no on the magic underwear. It was it, from all of them said, "Well, the, the magic underwear course. bit, don't do that." I knew that it was only Trisha who was like ready to show up, and <laughs> apparently right. it's called garments. Trisha wanted to show up in Mormon garments, aka magic underwear, to eat grilled cheese and do trivia. I was like, "We cannot yeah. do that." Oh yeah. my god! And the Mormons wrote in with resounding, "No, you cannot <laughs> do that." What does it look like, though? I'm actually, I've never seen it. I'm going to pull up a picture. Mormon garments. It's, it's really what is it as... used for? It's basic. I think someone said it's used for, like, when you go on a mission, because they go on, like, missions. It's really just this, eh? Oh, okay. It's just, nice, like, conservative. Nice. Looks comfortable. The, the Mormons are stacked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look at all that space. <laughs> Nice deep V and shit. Nice deep. I mean, that's I kinda hot. like it for pajama to wear around the house. Don't wear that. It's <laughs> disrespectful. No, I'm not going to. I'm just saying it's kind of. Oh, I've that's never hot. Seen it. Yeah, it's kind of baller, actually. Yeah, it's kind of baller. That's what I'm trying to say. It is kind of baller. So they wear it when they go on missionary or when they go in the temple. I don't know. I really don't know. What? Why is it like... Why did they do like a sexy version of the Mormon underwear? Fuck. Ah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so D'Angelo is off my enemies list and uh -huh. onto my friends list. We're making friends. 
Did everybody see the chat spamming uh, Alan Dent over and over again? I do, and I have no idea what they're what talking Alan about. Me neither. Uh, yeah, Alan Dent is the guy who said, let me call in. But he's not about the Mormon underwear, but he's not part of the Discord. So everybody's riding for Alan Dent, huh? Oh, that, that yeah. was yeah. the ex-Mormon, was Alan Dent. It's really yes. tough got to it, follow got it, got the got chat it. sometimes, because I'm trying yeah, to also Yeah, it was just a wall of Alan Dent, and I was like, what's, what's going on here? Yeah. Um... Um, so moving on, we have Critical, who, first of all, the beef began when he proclaimed himself the f god of Wikifeed. It which, was a, it was a critical error. Right. Mm -hmm. Well said, Dan. Mm -hmm. Who, as you guys all, all well know, he is, n he's not only not the god of Wikifeed, he's not even close to number one on the website. That, of course... <laughs> That title is, of course, goes to yours truly. A.B. A.B., shut up. <laughs> Sorry, Eli, but that really pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm number two is because I was the one that was reporting the critical situation live. Don't you think it's a little opportunistic, A.B., that you snuck into the, the number two spot? I just explained how. I didn't say, I've never, not one time I've ever said... I've always, I've always said don't do it. I said it because if I yeah, ever but you know what that means. Don't do it. Don't act all innocent. <laughs> I'm t it's because I was there reporting the uh, Vader. <laughs> Next mad because his feet went up the same day and Lord well, knows well, where they see. are. Ethan Klein. Oh, people have been digging and finding new oh, feet pics. Oh, AB, you're not on here anymore. Oh, there you go. Whoa, they removed you, huh? You got bombed. Psych! Holy shit, they removed you, AB. Wait, probably Zach. That's weird. You know what's crazy is that through all of this, they keep me number one. The people on the website, the moderators of this website, have deemed that I shall be number one. You've done a lot for this website. <laughs> I put traffic. them on the fucking map. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It was, it was probably my coworkers who did it because Ian and Zach are conspiring against me because they're mad I got that second place. How do you figure? Ian was, Ian was sending to the chat <laughs> last week. Uh, Dude, they added so many. <laughs> Holy crap. I wonder if this was a fan or one of the... Even if someone didn't think that you were kidding. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is intriguing. Someone went back through... The last I checked this page like a week ago... Yeah, these are all new. The, this mean, was the old, newest pick from our, from our uh, <laughs> trip for your birthday. Yeah. And so... I want to talk about feet. Somebody went back. Yeah. Really far. I don't even know. What, vi what video is this from? I have no idea. What the F? <laughs> and then this is, yeah, this way back. <laughs> 195, boy, I wish. Huh. Man. These people are freaks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Look how skinny I am. Cool. I'm going to be like that someday. Oh, what is this? Why do you look like that? <laughs> what is this? You can't even see my feet. It's, it's so big. Because it's frames you're moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. I could jizz to that. Yo, somebody said, uh, I could shed some light on the Mormon garments. They're actually worn as much as possible and only removed when showering and swimming. They're worn yeah. underneath regular oh. clothing. Oh, so they do wear them all the time? I like Apparently. it. You guys want to learn about magic underwear? I think, well, we just did. That's hot. Oh, we just did. Thank you. That's it. That's all there you need to know. I'm no foot fetishist, but I feel like you could definitely jerk it to this. <laughs> Let's read the comments, because there's always funny-ass comments on a mix of, like, foot fooper troopers and actual genuine members of the website who are confused. Someone wrote and donated $100. Oh, Jesus. I have an amazing 2020 success story where I lost 100 pounds in seven months. And no, it needs to be shared, and I know you want to hear it too. Please let me call in. Say what? It needs to be shared? <laughs> Send us some before and after pics. We'll look at it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Somebody wrote nasty. Rude. Excuse me? Somebody wrote nasty. Gaga86? Okay. User gave me one star, ugly feet. Fuck you, Gaga. Blacklist user? What does that do? How is it possible? Here we go. Listen to this. One star. 
How is it possible this man single-handedly ruined this entire site's rating system? It's crazy, frankly, what him and his psycho fans did. Such a shame. It's just one person. Why you got to be such a hater-ass bitch? Is it possible that people on the website actually just like my feet, you punk? (laughs) Okay, something is happening here. Yeah, that one. Oh, well, I got three stars from them, at least. Nice. Oh, my God. Looks a lot like, bro. You're. F- Let me look at this profile picture before okay, I read this foot, comment. Foot slave eighty two. Bro, you got issues, dude. <laughs> he didn't rape. Let's not judge. Let's right. not judge. True. No judging. What do you think about these these little boys? Oh, bro, you guys are fucking. Ah. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Why why should I deride this? I, I'm I'm the low. These are my people. Looks a lot like his fans are making accounts just so they can give him a five-star rating. I mean, this dude currently has 6.4. He has a higher rating than Sean Mendez, Chris Hemsworth, Zach Efron, <laughs> Justin Bieber. Who says, just because they're handsome, more handsome than me, that they have nicer feet than me? There's no logic. He says your feet are average as hell. Who are rightly or wrongly the undisputed kings of wiki feet men. This guy's feet are average as hell. Well, not in the opinion of all the people who rated. They're not good feet at all. Have one star. Have you visited blocked? Hmm? Right. Man, stay mad, haters. <laughs> 6.5. Bringing... Alex, for $5, he said, look into the Mormon handshake that gets you into heaven. I've heard it's a big secret. <gasps> There's a Mormon handshake? Are, they not supposed, are we not supposed to know about the Mormon handshake? I can't tell if he's trolling or not. Let me look into it. No, that sounds something real. Mormons are up to all kinds of tricky business. Like, they have all kinds of secrets. But they seem, overall, like, there's nothing bad. No, they're nice. Dude, Mormons are the nicest yeah. people ever. I love the underwear. Mor- Mormons. Oh, yeah, Mormon handshake's real. Interesting. Holy shit. Yeah, this video from YouTube says secret Mormon temple handshake with hidden camera. Huh. Oh! Well, are we not supposed to watch it? Oh, I'm watching it. <sighs> Why is it secret? Because they ha- there's all kinds of secrets in the Mormon church. There's, like, different levels. It's kind of Scientologist chunk uh, Scientology in that regard. I don't like that. They have like secret sanctums and stuff and secret teachings and and I swear to God, I I, I know that the tr- the church I think no longer believes this, but they the one of the original tenets of Mormonism was that black people are evil spirits. Straight up. That that's why they were black, because they're evil spirits that lost the war. And you guys I'm not wrong about that, right? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It. Well, fact check me. I don't know. Fact check me. Yeah. No, Jesus. I swear to God. I swear to oh God. They God. think that black people are evil spirits that lost the war against angels. You say, you say I swear to God, and then you say I'm not wrong about that, right? <laughs> I'm 99.9. I'm 99.9 on that. Hold on. Let's find the secret handshake. Sorry to all the Mormon fans. I'm just intrigued. Dude, they, you guys have a mole deep in the Mormon church. You know what I mean? Here, just see what, you see what they get up to in the, like, the deep sanctums of the temple? They're like main churches in L.A. It's like this crazy-ass looking temple. They're like, what's up, dog? What's going on? You good? Okay, I just... I just got a message from a, um, someone in Discord who's Mormon. He said, yeah, I would be okay talking about the underwear, but the handshake is definitely off limits. Uh-huh. He said, watching the video, you're going to get a lot of people mad. What can I do, <laughs> man? It's just on YouTube. He said, with the uh, black people thing, there's some history about that. I believe Ooh, I can Ooh, look at that touch, bro. Hang on. I got to see how this goes down. Forgive me, but I got to know about this secret handshake. They're like, hey, dog, what's going on? You good, baby? Give me some skin, boy. Just a little embrace. Just a little dab. Yeah. Just a handshake. It's just a loving oh, embrace. Jesus. Jesus. It's just a... Oh, then they touch again. They let go. They touch again. Very gently. It's a gentle embrace. So hear what they're saying? They go, there's no sound. Oh, I turned it down. oh yeah. Let, let's hear Kind of ASMR. It has. I will through the veil. Eli. Mm. 
What is that? The second token of the Aaronic Priesthood. Does it, have it? it has. You give it to me. I will through the veil. Heinrich. What is that? The first token of the Melchizedek Priesthood, or sign of the nail. Brad, these guys, I don't know what it the has. fuck they're talking about. I will through the veil. The sun. The second token of milk has a <laughs> This is weird, you guys. Someone said, This is how me and my weight oh. dealers do <laughs> it. <laughs> That's the perfect cover. Yo, I was just doing a Mormon handshake. That's a perfect handoff. Like, yo, what's up, baby? <laughs> that was good. Love, <laughs> Love says it sounds like an NPC conversation in oblivion. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Be careful there, sir. What is that? Sorry to the Mormons if I'm being insensitive, but I'm very intrigued by the secrets. Hey, don't be mad at me. Be mad at this fucking guy. This guy's a rat. This guy put a camera in his robe and went and started shaking hands and shit. This guy's a rat, man. You know what I mean? I'm just here for the tea, sis. Oh, what's this? Trisha just posted a video of why she is scared of Jeffrey, and the thumbnail looks like she's crying. Oh my god, Trisha. Okay, we better watch that. <laughs> I wonder if she's baiting us oh to watch god. it. Like, right. she's on that level these days. Right. <laughs> she, knows, she knows exactly what she's doing, and we're Man. gonna watch it. Man, these guys have soft hands. It's crazy it all goes down in the robe. Can you guys stop spamming about Army Hammer? Yeah, I know. Shut the I, fuck up. It's really hard already to follow the chat while I'm trying to um, engage conversation with Ethan, too. And not go... Arm and Hammer? Isn't that a baking soda? <laughs> Army Hammer. The story about him... Oh! DMs getting leaked. He's like... A, wants I've, to been, I've been be trying to make sense of that story. I can't tell what's true or not. Yeah, this same. actor Army Hammer has been accused of being like a cannibal. And then, well, one of the initial people said that they made the story up. And then other, one of his ex-girlfriends came out and said that he, he was just, like, abusive, you know, which, which I don't know. But, but the really scandalous part is that he apparently, like, wanted to eat parts of them. <gasps> but we don't know if that's real or not. Right. Yeah, uh, I was reading up on it yesterday, and it just seems like it's still a developing story. We'll follow it. Maybe we'll talk about it next week or something. Can you don't have to, we, we're aware of it. You don't have to spam about it. Thank you. Wait. Thank you. With peace and love. Did Thank anybody you. find out about the black, the, 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 the thing I said about black people in yeah, the Mormons? someone wrote, Mega yeah. Awesome Nerd wrote, Ethan is right about Thank the black you. people thing. Until, Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Until 19... 1978 when god changed his mind about us you should watch the book of mormon it may be a comedy oh, wait musical a yeah, I remember by the south park guys. oh god changed yeah, his yeah. mind but they're super accurate about the religion right oh I do god's remember like that in you book know of mormon, god's actually. like you know i know i've been saying that black people are evil demons but i changed my mind <laughs> i was wrong <laughs> just gonna walk that back yeah. real quick same thing with the four <laughs> wives i command you to take four wives um, I, I take was, it back. I was raised Mormon for a while. I was super anti-Mormon and resented the whole religion. I was definitely brainwashed. This all being said, I'm sorry. This all that. this being said, all the Mormon people I've ever met have been extremely, extremely nice. Like the yeah, nicest people ever. Said, I used to be Mormon. I was raised Mormon, and I have so much insight. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And another person said that he's also an ex-Mormon who can explain things. So there's a lot of ex-Mormons yeah, here. I, I think there's a huge like ex-Mormon community. Because oh. it's the thing about Mormons is it's a very tight community. And they kind of like work with each other. They marry each other. They stay within each other's community. It's very, very tight. And so, you know... People have reputations, and they're judged, and gossip, and the rules, and everything. So, it's pretty. It's pretty. It sounds pretty intense. Small communities Jesus, sounds Jesus. awful to me, because I kind of feel like where I grew up is kind of like a small place, mm -hmm. and inevitably everyone just knows everything, and I just 
there's no open-mindedness in those kind of communities. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just do whatever you want without getting looks, mm -hmm. or without you know. Mm -hmm. so, when I came to you, when I came to move in with you guys, when I came, you, you were getting dirty looks, right? You were, people were gossiping. Well, it's like everyone wants to know everything. It's like none of your business. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eva's neighbors were weird. They were like peeking out the windows, kind of. Yeah, I have a neighbor stuff. across the street like, Damn, that is me out. like. She's crazy. She she's always peeking out the window, looking. Uh, so bored. Like if someone came home late, she's like, hmm. <laughs> "Really? Hmm. Oh my god. What are you at this late? You uh, want to watch this uh, um, Trisha crying video? I. Uh, oh, rough. And I don't know you don't like to speak up. Someone want to vet it? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, am I? What is this? Much? Okay, look here. She's crying. Uh, let me just watch this. I don't know what this video is in the beginning. He paid for the car services. So I'm like watching the full hair video. Turn it up. Video. I posted something in my vlog channel. I just saw like a clip of this guy. Like, this is Jeffree Star's like wig guy. And also his friend. He took him to Wyoming like just a few days ago. Like they're, they're the type group of people that were being so awful to me on this Vegas trip a year ago. And like watching this is so triggering for so many reasons like i'm actually watching what does it new something this video apparently i guess she she got mad at jeffrey because he was being real mean to her yeah so, although i thought 2021 trisha was pro jeffrey but okay. you know what these motherfuckers are and i don't normally don't like to speak up on them they're fucking it's so lucky. quiet dan that jeffrey's actually a nice person Take, uh, they're taking advantage yeah. that Jeffrey's not about airing people out anymore. Okay? Oh, that he he's not about airing people out yeah, anymore. He he's lucky he's a nice person. How are you going to talk about a person after you got in a private jet that was paid for? You didn't spend a dime. Okay? Your fucking room was paid for. He Did paid he for the fucking her? concert to go see Mariah Carey. Front row, I sat next to you for the food for the restaurant. There's more than and just being, right buying people's shit, you dumbass. Like, just because he brought her on the trip doesn't mean he wasn't a douche. Like, just because he brought her on a trip doesn't mean that she needs to fucking get on her hands and knees and say his praise forever. Like, weird worldview, dude. You were such a boring time. You were such a boring time. You were Yo. so negative. Such a what? I, I boring don't time. What are you saying? Who is this guy? Why are you talking shit on Trisha? Who is this fucking guy? By the way, to call Trisha boring, I can. I, I'll just have. <laughs> I gotta intervene, bro. I can tell you're a boring for weirdo. Boring time. What is she there to entertain you? Like fuck this guy. I remember he even checked her. Like, yo, what is wrong with you, bro? We're trying to make you feel better. Cause she was like. Um, we were like, hey, we have to leave by 9 o'clock, it's 7 o'clock, like, I'll put Trisha's wig first, and then I'll put Trisha's Oh, no, 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 if we don't have time for my, I literally will go out like this, I don't care, like, you know, I'm, yeah. fine. I'm perfectly fine, like, the five, she had a bubble. four, what, three, who's doing that, who did not that, not me, not me, who did that, not me, who did that, it wasn't me, it was not me, that wasn't was in the video, right, hold on, let me go back, <laughs> Just to make sure it wasn't in the video. Like, hey, we have to leave by 9 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. Like, I'll put Trisha's wig first, and then I'll put Trisha. Oh, no, no, no. If we don't have time for my... I literally will go out like this. I don't care. Like, you know, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm perfectly fine. Like, the, Five. Is it is Trish, in the video. It's Trisha's video. She was playing. I, but I thought that was Dan. What the it fuck? It is Dan. It is Dan? So she's watching one of on? our videos. She was, no, that was today's episode. She probably had the tab open waiting for the live stream to start. Uh, and then it started in the middle of her recording. Uh -huh. Ah, it's Trisha's watching, huh? Interesting. Hi, Trisha. Hi, sister. <laughs> fuck you, Dan. I do not like this guy, by the way. He is such a douche. But let me hear her. Four, Nobody three. fucking rides for my friend. If somebody can talk shit on my friend, it'll be me, not this fuck. You're Two. To the come on, trying to listen. No. <laughs> oh, uh. Trisha, come on. Oh my god. That's so funny. I thought it was one of you guys. <laughs> yeah, we know which one you thought it was. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's so fucking lucky. He does not air this bitch out. 
You know what's up? What's the bro? Problem? Are you like the trashiest person alive doing this while you're someone's working on your hair? <laughs> like, bro, you're not that serious. I don't even know who you are. Talking shit while someone's doing your hair, like. <laughs> It's people get upset when they have something good and then they do something stupid. What is he responding to? We talked about your skin, bitch. But your fucking skin looks like shit to this day. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What a fucking asshole. He's oh. so aggressive. Wait, I, I gotta like hear. This. I gotta hear this. We talked about your skin, bitch. But your fucking skin looks like shit till this oh. day a whole year later, bitch. Oh my god. That makes me like, I almost feel like he punched me in the face, you know? This guy is, is, who is this person? Is anybody, is anybody working to identify this man? I believe he's a hairstylist, but I'm not sure because she said... So you guys know, just to be clear, when I ask that, I'm not... It's not a rhetorical question. I have three people here. Yeah, no, I was watching before you even started the video. I'm, I'm ahead of you. Okay. So yeah. who is he? I, th I believe this is the Hair by Jay. I'm trying to find his oh, Instagram Oh, Hair by right Jay? Now. Oh, yeah, I'm love sent me. Oh, Hair by Jay. Oh, okay, thank you. Who is the... This guy is an evil fuck. That is just... Here, we have his Instagram. Let's find out who this motherfucker is. This guy is evil. Bro, fuck you. Who talks about another person like that? Like, if you want to criticize her as a person, that's one thing. But be like, I called you to... I mean, that's just... Dude, you got problems, bro. Good. And then they do something stupid. I despise this man. Mm -hmm. We talked about your skin, bitch. But your fucking skin looks like shit till this day a whole year later, So bitch. don't you just admit that she's right, though? You're trying to act like it's all good, but you just admit that you were talking shit about her, and you just did it again. How is you making fun of her skin That's, at all? That fair moment criticism? right there is plain evil. I've never seen anything like that. Bro, you're fucking... Hair by Jay? I wouldn't let that guy touch my... I wouldn't let that guy touch my hair. I won't get. I won't let that guy near me. He's be like. He's be doing my hair. He's like, damn, your skin is fucked up, dude. <laughs> You're ugly, bro. Be doing my hair. Nah, I'm not down with this guy. How are you gonna broadcast that, bro? You want to talk about good hair? What in the hell is with this, bro? You just liked it. <laughs> I did. Oh <laughs> shit! I didn't know I was logged in, bro. Bruh. Dog, you are the biggest... You get the biggest douche of the... of. Oh, brother. I can't believe this guy's real. I can't believe people like this are real. Yeah, me too. Get the fuck out! Just be mean if you... For two weeks, she said that. Look, look, look at this stupid dumb bitch. Look she at said, you. She said... She's saying... I'm gonna play it again. This stupid, dumb, worst looking ass bitch. Maybe she should go on a fucking diet and get light on her motherfucking brain. Cause maybe okay, dude, you gotta stop. I don't like it. You gotta stop, dude. You were so pathetic. You're attacking her skin and her weight. Oh my god. Well, Trisha, don't feel bad. He's really ex just exposing himself as a rotten human being. Mm -hmm. And funnily enough, he literally just admit to. He just admit to what you accuse them of, which is funny. Yes, we pay. Yes, we bought her flight and brought her to a show. But we, yes, we also made fun but of her skin and called her fat. Time. And she was boring. <laughs> Boo! -hoo. It's like holy shit, Trisha. I want to feel bad about not falling out of grace with these psychopaths. Holy fuck! And the fact that he's talking all this smack while someone's doing his hair is just. <laughs> it's know. like, bro, you're just a fucking hairstylist. Like, you're not that, that serious. I'm so important yeah. that I cannot even stop for a moment to shoot this dumb video. Bro, you, you I need gotta therapy. have someone doing my hair while I'm doing it. This seems a. Because every piece minute of, shit. of mine. <laughs> I, I, money. You know, I, I clicked this video going in skeptical, but I have to say, Trisha, this is some heinous shit. Maybe all that fat is fucking up her fucking brain. All right. How they feel? I don't think you need to shed tears over this guy, though. To be honest, Trisha, he's literal dog shit. Because I have, I can't, I can't. 
Dude, there's have some have some respect for the woman doing your hair. Just wait till she's done, man. You're so weird. Oh my god, like that. I was like, I was so awkward. And and and, and you know, it, they were fat shaming me. And and he you just admit it. You just it. admit that you were doing all those things. You really want to hang out with people that make fun of your weight and skin? Like, that's not a good time, dude. You literally just admit to doing that. Touch me double, and um, <laughs> I couldn't pay, and, and they were making fun of my skin, and uh, um, yeah. we, I thought we were friends. I thought we were You just admit that all that's true. And I should have talked about it and all that shit. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Stupid. Dumb Warris Warts. Oh, he's wait. He's um, watching us. Um, he's watching yes. an Instagram. Sorry, I was right behind this bitch. Let me oh, tell I want to watch him. I got to react Warris to him watching him. Hair by Jay, you're you're bitch. you're going down, mother. <laughs> you know what me I'm, off? I'm watching him right now. He's not watching us at the moment. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I have some words for hair by Jay. This is why I love live because you just go to war with people as it's happening. You're one of the rudest, saddest most pathetic people I've ever seen on the internet. You were just a rotten dude. You know what pisses me off? That I actually liked her. I actually got along with her. Oh my god. Well, for someone that liked her, it sounds like you're a real fucking asshole. Ethan, the, uh, the foot soldiers are rolling out. <laughs> his, his chat is all like H3 and uh, don't you dare <laughs> talk about Trisha. Trisha is queen. What yeah, dude, is wrong fuck with this you? guy. Trisha is queen. Sorry, you know, but I got... I, this it's is, just giving me bad vibes. I don't like it. It is bad like vibes. But one, we, like, foot gross. soldiers are mounting a defense for our. Oh my God. Dude, yeah. The, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, AB. No, just funny. They're like, they're all spamming him. You, you, you're a clown. They're not effing around. He's starting to get a little upset. Good. Pretty, oh, uh, I gotta, how do I open his. Send me his live feed so I can watch it. Okay. I want to watch him. He's a clown. Send him clown emojis, dude. So much. Okay, He's rude. So was so made her feel uncomfortable. Was so negative to her. But <clears throat> afterwards, bitch, don't forget to say, but <laughs> I got to fly to Vegas because that person paid for a fucking. Who oh, gives a fuck? Oh my God. The fact that he bought her a plane ticket doesn't mean anything. Who cares, dude? Is that your whole world is just controlled by currency and favors? Like, dude, get a fucking grip on reality. Shit. I slept in a motherfucking room. Oh my god, you have, dude, right. you are because so twisted. Because paid for my fucking suite. Trisha should I went send to go see Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah, so she can, can pay you back, bitch. The, yeah. First like, fucking, <laughs> um, bro, because that person Trisha, paid don't for my cry for this idiot. I really don't. <laughs> it's actually just like, to go see her. We gotta she defend our claims. Well, we did. So I'm like watching the full. I don't need to watch the Trisha cry, but you shouldn't cry for this guy, dude. He is such. Oh, he is such a douche. Send me his live stream. I want to see what's popping over there. No, I Some got it. Soldiers are in full effect right now. He's like all flustered he, and shit. He's, he's live on Instagram. I, I don't think you can watch what? it on desktop, oh, let me, unfortunately. Uh, oh, wait, maybe. Look, oh, wait, just wait. Yeah, yeah, About the things that she was saying. Own it, bitch. Okay. What she said was totally false. And the thing that upset me was that these things were being said, right? Uh, sorry, right? These things were being said, even though I'm here thinking this oh, whole time a year later. Oh, don't backpedal. You fucking said. Media. You literally just said, I paid for your room, paid for your flight. That's why you shouldn't complain. You justify being a total fucking douchebag to her. He needs to apologize. You need to apologize, bro. Straight up. You justify being a total douchebag to her because you bought her what is she a peasant that you could just bring around and shit on because you really bought her things trisha should send him a check so he can shut up yeah you, you want trisha to send you a check fuck you bro what what's happening now <laughs> how'd you get here wait this isn't uh live <laughs> no <laughs> uh the bullet being shot but they don't see why the shot the shot was fired bro okay oh so what happens what are you is talking about now she creates a, uh, a, a YouTube video. That, that, I that, know that, 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 uh -huh. that, that, that. Brings it up, <laughs> and I tell the, the girl that's doing my hair, I'm like, yo, let me borrow your phone so I can watch her, the video on live. So they, you guys got my first. Oh, my, my God. Um, just apologize, bro. Yeah, just apologize. The first reaction out of me. You get me? So matter. I see the video on live. 
You really Habit, think you were doing something. I'm thinking that this girl gets along with me. I'm thinking we get along. So in the video, she's saying that... There's a car alarm going on. She didn't like the her. service. Because she felt I overcharged her. Okay, whatever she said right? doesn't justify what you I said about her. her. She felt um, okay, you over- that throughout the night, I didn't um, touch her up. And Seems like fair um, criticism, brah. Not fucking calling someone fat and her skin bad. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. No, Let me tell you guys why I'm not going to apologize. When you apologize, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. there's oh. no need to apologize for something that I knew I was saying. Okay? When someone is upset, you don't say no, you need to apologize. things to make that person feel bad. You want to check, okay? bitch? You say shit that's going to piss them off, too. No, the same way oh, they trigger you. Okay? Uh, 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 so... This guy's a doo doo head. What happened? Doo doo fucking head, I bro. Come, and everybody knows. I love that when he gets challenged a little bit, he starts all of a sudden. He's not that tough and not that serious. Interesting that we got to see that happening live. Yeah. To I got Trisha's back on this one, man. That was some rude shit. You know. Why does he keep showing me this video? It's a story, I guess. Well, I'm clicking for the accurate okay. things. Okay, <laughs> fuck that. Who cares? Like, suppose she did say that I charged her more yes, or which some is stuff fair. like that. When you say that I'm talking about you and I really wasn't, Dude, you're not even making sense. That's when it's going to really piss me off. You didn't even bring that up in your because video. Because okay, this so whole let's time you got I have off, text so messages, which I did show, but they, yeah. I, I didn't watch the video, the latest video recently, but they failed to show those parts where I'm bringing out receipts. You didn't bring shit, you fuck. <laughs> this guy's a douche. Case closed. Case closed. Case closed. I was, ah, man. That's what Jeffrey, that's what your brain does on Jeffree Star. Sounds like somebody wants, this guy obviously lives his life transactionally, right? I have no idea about him, so I don't. Really... Well, based on what he said about Trisha, that she should just endure whatever, uh, she should just endure whatever abuse comes her way because, because she he's got buying to be her on shit. The flight. So that, that's how I assume his relationship is with Jeffrey, you know what I mean? He's on that Jeffrey teeth so hard, he's so desperate. Just debased himself. Mm. It's upsetting. Yeah. Trisha, are you watching this? <laughs> Should we have her call in? Well, whatever. Trisha, if you're out there, we got your back, girl. You can message me on WhatsApp. Let me see if she messaged me. My mom messaged me. Oh, my mom said she's watching the show. <laughs> it says, you look like you have lost weight. Thank you, Mom. Oh. She said, I and my, my parents are the harshest critics. They'll tell me straight <laughs> up. My mom doesn't pull punches on the weight shit. She'll be like, you're fat. She'll be like, you look fat. <laughs> tell, By you the way, your mom wanted an apology live. You should do it. Well, you're oh, fat. What did I, ring. Oh, yeah. I do owe my mom an so apology. You kind of made it sound really douchey when you was telling Trisha about our proposal. He said that the ring his mom gave him was trash. I didn't mean that. I, d I so yeah. didn't mean it that. It was a grandma. Yeah, I so, I that yeah. was messed up. I shouldn't have said that. So it was a family. Bruh. It was an heirloom. Yeah. I didn't, I don't know why I said that. I was just going over the story really fast. I didn't mean trash. That's not what I meant. I'm, I mean, I said that, but I wish I didn't say it like that. Anyway, my mom said, tell Ela I had... Fibroids removed also. It's an easy one-day procedure. Oh. Nothing really? to worry about. Oh. There you I go. Know. Nice. Nice. Let me see if Trisha wants to call him. People seem into that idea. How do you know what people are into? You're I'm looking at the chat. There? You get supervision. You think so? It's not that far. Maybe you can message your Dan on the, in the frenemies chat. I don't know if she's watching or what. Uh, okay. I'm on the opinion of like... You should save it for Monday, but maybe not. Oh, save it for Monday. We do have a show to do. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's messenger. Maybe she, you know. Look at Afo. <laughs> Look at Alfredo. I mean, if she wants to, then. Look at <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. Uh, you know.
If he wants to, let's do it because people are interested. Yeah. That was not cool. That was so what disgusting. A, what a piece oh of my shit. God. I was blown away by that guy. Oh, my God. I got an update. Go ahead. His Instagram just went private. <laughs> Holy shit. But soldiers don't fuck around. <laughs> the soldiers do not <laughs> fuck around. Holy shit. Does he just went mean? private? He was out mounting his old defense and everything. What did he say? Wow, he went oh, private, wait, huh? I can't take any little clown emojis. Bro, you talk so much shit, and you couldn't exactly. You he couldn't went private. He He's private? got a phone number listed in his uh, Instagram bio. I'm, oh, Zach. Oh, Zach. I shouldn't Zach. talk about that. Well, Don't okay. First that. of all, Does he? it's no. in it's in his public thing. Oh, so. he's probably one of those fake bullshits. Uh, be I want to stay in touch with you guys. Let's just be clear. We do not condone of no, any of that. No, 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 no. Well, it's in his... I'm just saying it's just okay. it's just in his in his profile. So it's not like Zach was showing anything right, not right. public. But no. we're not trying to harass him. No. no. I just wanted to defend my girl. Dude, just apologize. You don't have to private your account and do all this hubbub. Just fucking apologize for being so rude to her. And basically confirming... I like how her said, story. I showed the receipts in the video, and it's like, actually, the only receipt you showed is of your shitty personality. Yeah. We got the receipts on that. <laughs> Good point. He's like, yeah, we were making fun of your skin and calling you fat, but that's just only because you are. It's like, oh, shit, dude, you really got her. You really proved their point. Um, another update. The number is gone. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> you took it down. <laughs> People... <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, just apologize. If you apologize, oh, don't spam the number in chat, you guys. Wait, what? Stop. Who's doing that? Dance other people spamming the number. We're not, we're not oh, harassing. Guys, you guys, don't do that. You can block it. You can do a block and block the number in the chat. If you can, you can ban the, you know what I mean, the digits. Don't do that, you guys. Please do not call that number. I'm not saying that ironically. Do not call the number. Anyone who drops it, I'm banning them. If they do. People who drop the phone number will be banned with peace yes. and love. With peace and love. All people dropping the number will be banned. I'm warning you. With peace <laughs> and love. Wow. The foot soldiers are can, will not be stopped. That was so disgusting. I'm still just kind of like, gross, gross. I find it interesting. We're trying to get Trish on the Trisha's phone. Trish's life is so wild. I feel like we're just getting a taste to like I know. the stuff she goes well, through. Well, I thought she was being dramatic, and then I, oh, as you know, like, oh, Trish is being dramatic. But I watched the clip, and I was like, oh. The thing is, you know, his homies talking like that. You know, him. You know, Jeffrey Star is saying the same exact shit. Yeah. He's just a little bit smarter. He's not going on live and advertising what a <laughs> psycho he is. Yeah. Hmm. Not cool. I did message Trisha, so if she gets back to us, I will let you know. Um. Oh, Sean Balog just messaged me. He said, Jesse had the same... I don't know if you want me to read this text, Sean, but... <laughs> he said that... It's an easy procedure. Mm. That's all he said. So it sounds it sounds all good. I didn't even know that was a thing, man. Me neither. Apparently, you get like spots on your uterus or something. Yeah. Or something. whatever, and then they just take it up right off. Yeah. Hmm. Female anatomy. The more you know. <laughs> also, to check for it, they had to put like uh, fluid in there and do like. A ultrasound with fluid it's weird i think this the name of this episode you know you owe me forever because everything that we have to do it's all me yeah i know it's awesome. and you're just home sleeping and i and i got fluid ultrasounds look if happening yeah no i am totally appreciative of that i i i i don't feel like right, i i feel I like i tell you back up tonight Bro, how are you gonna act? How are you gonna act like I never ever even say no? Like, I am appreciative, you know? I always say that. I mean, straight up, I'm just really happy that you have to do it and not me. Nice. 
truthfully. <laughs> if it had to be me, I'd do it, but it sucks. <laughs> I don't have a choice. It's awesome because I don't have a choice. Usually it's like, like this morning it was 6 a.m. and Theodore woke up and we were like having, we we're having, yeah. I wouldn't say we weren't arguing, but we were debating who would go get him. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, I went up and got him. But when it comes to like having a baby, there's no debate. So it's easy. <laughs> like, man, I'd do it if I could. <laughs> I would totally do it if I could do it. Some people are wondering if drunk Ben is, what is he doing today? <laughs> Don't encourage drunk Ben. That guy's going to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope drunk Ben's having a good one, though. I hope he wasn't too hungover. Oh, I was saying we should, we should rename the, um, the episode to Squashing Two Beefs and Creating a New One. <laughs> <laughs> two beefs back, one yeah, beef forward. One is born. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say uh, just real quick, um, thank you to everybody who's joining as members. Um, it's been an incredible amount of people doing it on today's episode for whatever oh. reason. So thank you. Thank you. Thank We've you to all of our members. Out, like, I will say. Three or four hundred people have become members over the course of the stream. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you. Guys. The membership helps the show a lot. It helps keep sustain a good, even plane. You know, we've had a lot of uncertainty in the show. And we're trying our best to deliver some good value. As well for the memberships, as like like I was saying early in the show, the episode that's going to be posting tomorrow that we had to delay a day for reasons I've already explained is up already for members because we don't have to censor anything on that. We don't have to worry about getting approval from YouTube. We put it up as soon as it's recorded and the members get it immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's actually been up since uh, Wednesday evening. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday evening. So, so you get it. In so that people case, you get it way are early. asking for the thank critical. You, thank you. Yeah, let's Story. move on. So thank it. you, thank you to all of our members. We love and appreciate you. It's so important to the show. Without you, I would unfortunately have to fire thank Ian. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> who is doing something. I don't know. what Ian, what are you doing? You're, you're inspecting something so closely on your desk. Talk to us. <laughs> I was just sc scanning through comments on my phone. Oh, good. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's move on to Charlie Critical Reviews. So, Critical, once again, I was kind of get into that before we got into the sidetrack with this new drama. Yeah. But let's talk about one of the old dramas that we are burying. What does it mean, squash the beef, anyway? It's like, can you squat? That's like taking beef and, like, squashing it? I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, with, like, a meat tenderizer, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that squashing? It's more like pounding. I, it's, just, it's what comes to mind when I hear that term. I have no idea. Squash the beef. Because that seems like more dramatic. Like, pff, we're going to squash that. Nah. You should eat the beef. Let's cook, look up Origin. Cook, cook the beef. Um, they're saying YouTube finally made it easier to join via iPhone. <gasps> really? Oh, oh, that's fantastic. That's probably why. Yay. That's probably why it's got yeah. so many people. For a long time, I think there was a dispute between Apple and YouTube app. Yeah, Apple wants their 30% and then I think that YouTube transaction that goes through the... Uh, Absolutely. Right. So they were negotiating, I think, with Apple. And it sounds like they finally were able to add the button. That's fantastic. It's there. Thank it's you to sure. everybody on Apple. You now have a members button. Let's go. Nice. Origin of Squash the Beef. I'm, I actually want to know. I'm curious, and I'm sure everybody else is, too. Oh, interesting. Wow. It goes, it goes way back, eh? <laughs> Here. Pork. Pork barrel. Wait. What is all this bullshit? Ham it up? <laughs> what is this dumbass? <laughs> yeah, hold on. This is Wait, a dumb so article. Squash the beef. I was getting, oh, I was getting excited, but this is actually just horribly dumb. <laughs> it's like meat-related idioms, like okay, and not even squash the beef, by the way. I'm trying to look into it. Ham it up. Ham it up. Cold, Cold turkey. turkey. How the sausage is made. <laughs> Shut up, Miriam Webster. Don't you have sh words to define? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. <laughs> okay. So, um, squash the beef. What? So, some, maybe someone else should try to figure this out, eh? Perhaps. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway. <clears throat> So Char so we sent Charlie a package, you guys may recall. We sent him a WikiFeet hat signed by me, number one on the website. 
<laughs> and we also <laughs> sent him the Smells Like My Butthole candle, because I know he had re previously reviewed Goop's Gwyneth Paltrow's Smells Like My Vagina candle, and I thought he had a good palate. Uh, so packaging. So I sent and him. You, I sent him. It may look like I just got out of the shower and my <coughs> hair's still a bit damp, but that's only an illusion, a ruse from the master trickster Charles. What this actually is is grease. I've got a thick layer of gamer gunk on me right now. I'm real Gross. filthy, a real dirty boy. It's been almost three days since my last shower, and today I'm gonna be smelling Ethan Klein's asshole. It's gonna be hard to know what smells worse, his butthole or me. So it'll be a really be nice easy, clash of aromas. Now I'm sure all of you know by now that I'm the preeminent expert when it comes to genital candle fragrances. I just have a super sniffer that cannot be matched by other human beings. I've shown you its power when it comes to Gwyneth Paltrow's vaginal candle. I've always candle, wondered, is he just riffing or is he reading something? Because he's really... I don't think he's reading I think, anything. I think he's just good. He's at, quite good. Yeah. At just doing that. Yeah, he's of. really impressive. He's super funny. Just yeah. He's got a good... Uh, the dude's got a good brain for talking. Smart guy, funny guy. Of course, I always have them nearby just in case of emergency. We have Gwyneth Paltrow's so orgasm. I, you notice how much our candle looks like hers. I have to kind of tip my hat at how what a great job we did on this candle. And Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina, both of which I've huffed extensively. I've made two huh. videos about these bad boys. So I'm really like the scent sorcerer when it comes to Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. I'm the, the patriot of pussy perfume from Gwyneth Paltrow. And Ethan from H3H3 really wanted to test my nostrils to see mm -hmm. what I would think of his butthole smell. Yep. Now, of course, this isn't my first rodeo smell in butthole. In fact, far from it. Nobody and nothing smells more asshole than I do. The only thing that might even come close is dogs when they're meeting a new dog and they start sniffing their anal glands. But other than that, I'm at the top of the food chain when it comes to analyzing asshole smells. So he came to the right place. He even sent me this nice hat that says, To Charlie, <laughs> always number two from Ethan, number one. One, and it's about wiki feet because he fucking tanked my wiki feet rating because he was scared of my feet on there. By the way, everyone that tanked my wiki feet rating, you ruined my Christmas. All right, that was just that was uncalled for. But anyway, uh, let hey bro, you. Back. I'm just saying. Uh, look, I'm not here to say if it was called for or not. I'm just saying you got to check your facts before you got there and claimed to be number one. Now if the foot soldiers decided to retaliate. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. I, and I may you. have gone to your page and said, give him one star. Okay. <laughs> but if they chose to do that of their own volition, I didn't force anybody. Buttholes, let's go ahead and smell the candle. I will say I love the packaging. Thank and if you. you want my first impression, even before lifting it out, the box that this came in smelt atrocious. Mm -hmm. When I first picked up the box, I thought he had just taken a pile of, like, tuna, dumped it in there, and then covered that with, like, dog shit. It was really strong. And the hat smells just like it, too. That's it awesome. It is stained with, that. with Ethan Thanks. Klein's asshole smell. It's, like, so pungent that it's ruined all of the air molecules that it touches. It is actually fucking terrible smelling. I don't know if it's the candle or just whatever happened with the box and it's shipping, the but it is absolutely <laughs> abhorrent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will say the packaging is spectacular, even better than Gwyneth's. So I gotta trip. say, our packaging is better than Gwyneth's Goop's bullshit candle? Like, that's just that's pathetic. Up. Man, I, one of my biggest regrets of the past 20, 20 year was not making more of those candles. <sighs> Next year. Yeah, we... We even debated doing a re-up, but I think, yeah. Maybe I think it's going to be a holiday it'll be special. It'll a holiday thing, exactly. I've got to say, the people who did get their hands, were fortunate enough to get their hands on that, I was hoping for, I wanted so, I want somebody to light it in the company of others and film their gradual understanding of this, like, what is that smell? Well, it's, it's interesting because, as you'll see, you haven't seen this full reaction. I did, I watched you? it, yeah. Because he, he says lighting it actually dissipates the bad smell. <laughs> you know... Not my experience. Yeah. Yeah, not, not my experience, but he, he burned it for a long time. But so maybe we should do a new formulation for 2021 holiday where it's like smells like my, my uh, ball, balls is too pedestrian. It's more like my yeah. gooch, my gooch. Your, yeah. <laughs> gooch? Your taint? Sounds good. Smells like my taint. What'd you say, Zach? It smells like my B.O. No, that's too pedestrian. 
smells like my taint. Because it's a very specific smell you're going for. It's not just B.O. I like Gooch because it sounds funny. Smells like my Gucci or Gooch. Just Gooch. Gooch. Smells like my Gooch. A lot of people be like, what is a gooch? So that's kind of funny, too. We kind of, fupa. We kind of, like, there are fupa no, <laughs> my fupa doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> what, Dan? Well, we kind of cornered ourselves. You start with asshole. There's nowhere to really yeah. go from there. It's kind of the worst, you know? It's not that it's worse. It's different. It's not, I'm not trying to make it smell worse. It's Trisha is making a bunch of TikToks, and apparently she's my, mad at Shane now and ending the friendship with him. What? Sorry, guys. I, gotta, I have to get to the Trisha. Friendship with Shane is over? Oh, well, maybe then we can finally... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold my on. God. Maybe we should finish this. Nip. Uh, I got it. Well, you guys, uh, I got I to gotta see it. I got to see it. I'm, okay. I'm looking. She posted about 12 TikToks. I'm oh, sorry, 13 TikToks right now. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. Oh, it smells like my toes. My toes? My, my toes feet? don't smell. It smells like my feet. It smells like my wiki feet, number one on the website. All right, let me finish this. AB, you put together a Reader's Digest of the anti-Shane videos, please. Wish me luck. Good luck. Like this. It's really, oh, wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> so, with Gwyneth Paltrow's candles, as I've made very clear in the past, I've been very vocal about it, her candles don't smell like pussy. Surprisingly, a, a yeah, shot. I got one. Now, nice granted, I haven't candle. been yeah. able to get in touch with her agent to actually uh, schedule a play date where I can smell her vagina and compare it to the candle, but I can't imagine her vagina smells anything close to the candles. No. It, it just doesn't. They smell like lazy candles that are also kind of bad. Like, they can get really strong, like, not good smell, but never, like, vaginal sweat smell. This smells terrible. Like, this smells like liquid ass. You know that, like, liquid ass spray that you spray in your parents' car? And they're like, oh, who just shit their pants? You know, oh, this is gross. I know. And you're like, oh. I, I kind of took that as a slight because I was hoping that the fragrance was more nuanced than that. And I think it was. I think it is more nuanced than, like, liquid ass. Why? Because it's, it, it's, 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 it's not meant to just smell like liquid ass. Don't you understand? It's musk. It's sweat. We tried to create a real nuanced fragrance. So liquid to just ass sounds pretty deadly to me. To just write it off as as liquid ass is frankly. I think that should be a compliment. I know he means candle. it as a compliment. But me as the architect of this scent. God, you got pranked. It's actually just liquid ass. But I did shit myself too. This is what that smells like. It's really. Fucking strong. My compliments to the chef. I, I, I'm sure he had hundreds of flavor scientists working on this. We did, and in fact. Really concocted something evil in this candle. Yeah. My God. That is impressive. It's like he just like trimmed his ass hair and like yeah. sprinkled it into the wax after he, do, after he had yeah, like Yeah, funnily enough, that was my original <laughs> idea, which you guys vetoed because yeah. you thought it was too gross, yeah. Yeah, it was, was like I wanted much. to put little like fibers fibers in there. in there that look like pubes yeah the the people that made this uh, aroma prime is the company and uh, our 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 fan actually liam who is a regular watcher who reached out to us um they're experts at this i mean they they make the the unique smells that you smell at theme parks and stuff like this is this is what they do so no. yeah we I had mean, they scent scientists yeah, yeah literal scent scientists working on this you guys really think that the pubes in the wax was too gross i mean <laughs> Maybe I personally the, did. Maybe people. Maybe the good. Well, funny, listen, it's not. You know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next. Really maybe bad, and yeah. I haven't even burnt it yet. Holy shit! I'm actually, I'm actually skeptical if this is even wax. This looks like the alginate that you use for edible anus molds. I'm actually curious about like the creation of this candle, how it was made. Like, what did you do, Ethan? Like, prolapse your rectum and just like stamp each candle with it? Like, it is. That would probably bad. smell better than oh, the candle. My. My prolapse. <laughs> I, I certainly wasn't expecting that. I thought this was again going to be just like a lazy candle, but this is <laughs> rancid. This is absolutely repugnant even before burning the candle. This fucking thing smells like if you climbed into the back of a dump truck and found a rotting corpse in there that's still decomposing. It is absolutely awful. A lot worse than I was expecting, so Thank good you. work on that. Thank you. Really captures the beautiful aroma of asshole. So the, his reaction once there we he go. starts I can't wait to have this uh, burning, emanating throughout the room, in, spreading its seed. Me. I'll let that burn for a little while. 
make a wish on it. So I did notice that when they say you if you blow out the candle, Ethan Klein has a little G spot tingle. Interestingly <laughs> enough, lighting the candle has immediately made all of the awful. So I did notice that when you light the candle, the smell kind of retreats, but I wouldn't say it smells good. Mm. It kind of retreats. I guess I couldn't uh, live it on for too long, so. Mm. Maybe. Stench kind of get go used to away. It. Yeah. After a while, I, I've been letting it ruminate going. here for like, I don't know, like a minute, two minutes maybe. It's it's really like tamed everything. It like reeled back all the flavor. It's super odd. Like now that it's burning, it just smells like another fucking candle. <laughs> it's like all of the latent ass juice was in like the dried wax, and the second you start melting it, it just reverts to normal wax. So, yeah, it's like a de-evolution, like when you're trying to stop Pikachu like from going it. to Raichu, you like bring it back down. Yeah, he ultimately says it. It sounds All right, it this thing's been burning for about nice. 10 minutes now. It's nothing but a pool of wax. I will say the wax coloration is very interesting. It's like urine in there. <laughs> so maybe he also took like a piss in there and froze it like an ice cube, which would be cool. That'd be a nice little special <laughs> surprise inside the cereal box. But as far as the smell goes, the whole awful ass smell that the candle did have is gone. This actually smells like summer when I was a child. Like, you know, outside in the sun, you know, dad's got the hose and he's spraying the hose in the backyard and then Ethan Klein has his pants down somewhere in the background and it smells a little bad over there. But otherwise it just, it smells like summer. I don't know. It, it really doesn't smell bad it at all like anymore. Summer. Like, this is actually a pretty decent candle at the moment. Like, this would be a candle I'd have just leisurely because it's like a really light non-offensive smell it's like mm, oh i smelt a little something oh okay and then that's it it's it's not I intrusive he has so much maybe to i've gotten it. used to how bad it smelt he's, i don't really know but he's a connoisseur it just yeah. doesn't smell terrible Candle connoisseur anymore. it was horrible before i started yeah. burning it and now <laughs> now it's kind of it's kind of relaxing what it might have been relaxing. is maybe the first <laughs> layer of wax is where all of the the grime and stench was held prisoner so by burning off that first outer rim here of Saturn's rings, I've really just gotten into like the more normal candle part. Like the entire like flavor headquarters is in that first small uh, film on the top, and now that that's gone, it's just like kind of normal candle smell. But uh, yeah, you know, overall, it, it smelled like pure shit immediately, but when you actually do burn the candle, yeah, it just doesn't smell bad. It really doesn't. Pretty impressive stuff. Thank you Ethan so much. Ethan Klein, if this is what your asshole smells like, <laughs> I mean, congratulations to Ela then. I mean, that is that is something special. Like, if this is what your butthole actually fucking smells like with, like, burnt candle on it, impressive stuff. That's like giving yourself a Lysol enema. It's crazy. That's got to be the cleanest colon of all time if this well, is what it smells like. Really, really good work. Well, yeah, anyway, I'll blow it out because sometimes that brings out the latent uh, potential. <sighs> See, yeah, this doesn't I smell feel, bad I at feel all. like when I blew it out, the scent became extraordinary. He, he said he let it roll for like 10 minutes, though. Yeah. Um, it could have never lasted that long. Right, exactly. But we, he we, does we always... make an interesting comment at the very we, end here. This is just fucking crazy. So I've let it sit for another like three or four minutes just to cool down <laughs> and just kind of stew in its own filth. It smells fucking horrible again. <laughs> when this thing is lit, fine. In fact, even good sometimes. When it's just sitting, it actually does smell like Ethan Klein wiped his ass and then just stuffed the toilet paper in my hand. <laughs> so, this thing needs to just like burn eternally like the Olympic flame because otherwise it's awful. Interesting. But when it's burning, it's fine. So he said once he blew out the peculiar. flame, Ela, then the smell was good or bad again. Yeah, I know. I know that. Fascinating stuff, it huh? It gets awful again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks. Shout out to Critical. We have buried the hatchet. He's really good at reviewing yeah, he, product. Yeah, he... Totally. We gotta get him an infomercial or some kind of gig <laughs> on to sell products. Uh, so, update. Um, I actually have Trisha on the line. Oh, what? She's, mm. she's calling Wait, in. Wait, I thought you said she didn't want to call yeah. in. She said that originally, but... Uh, oh, we got Trisha on the line? She's here. This is epic. So, um... The Trisha Paytas? The Trisha Paytas. Princess Trish. Unless it's another Princess Trish in the waiting room. Bring her in. What are we waiting for? I'm um, bringing her in now. Stand by. Did you watch the Shane stuff, AB? Do you have a... Yeah, it, it was just hey. one video. Well, okay, wait, hang on. Explain. Trisha... Wait, Trisha Paytas? <laughs> Can you hear me or no? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Did you see us going after that fucking douchebag? 
Yeah, I didn't want to watch the live because the D'Angelo thing, but then I saw the part where you guys were being nice, and then I was like, okay, let me go on here real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. This yeah, that guy, guy is such a bitch. Oh, well, like, he was here at my house yesterday. My security guard, I showed the text messages on my TikTok. My security guard, I showed him the video because at the end of the video, the guy's like, I'm going to fuck you up. You're going to be anorexic by the time I'm done with you. The only person at your funeral is going to be your mom. He said like, that Like, all too? this crazy shit. Yeah, on the video, on, the, on his Instagram live, the previous one. And so I made a video because I was like, oh, my God, what do I do? So I sent the video to my security guard, and he's like, oh, that guy was here today. He was taking pictures of your car. He was with another guy in a black Dodger. They circled around. They circled around. Wow. Um, yeah, and so I called the security company today. I got another security guard over here, and then our our sensors were going off at night last night, like front driveway, front driveway, and the one security guard we had kept sleeping, so we got like two now at night. And it was like this whole thing. I, was like, I, I didn't know he said such awful things. I watched his full live. It was like 35 minutes. And it was him just telling me that I'm like this fat piece of shit that I, he's going to, he's going to, I'm going to get what's coming to me. Like that. I like, he's like, by the time I'm done, like by the time he's going to fuck me up, that I'm going to look like I'm in, you know, anorexic, I'm going to be in a funeral, like all this crazy shit. And he's like crazy. This guy does my wigs for a long time. And he like would tell me, he would show me like fights he goes in of like beating people, like beating people to death. He'd always be like, yeah, I, I killed that motherfucker. Like all that shit. Like he's crazy. And it like scares me. So that's why I went on TikTok because I was like i don't know what to do like i don't like like the cops can't do anything unless he shows up and my neighbor's a cop which is good but like until he like comes back like he really can't do anything other than he had the threat so they can like they can they can i guess arrest him i guess if there's already threats against me well he know. wasn't that tough people sent him a few clown emojis and he made his whole instagram private <laughs> I, I haven't even seen all that. I was like, I just, I was like catching my breath. I don't know, but he is, he's like scary. Like he's like, like he's, he's like, actually well, I can tell he has person. anger problems because he yeah. like snapped on you so fast. And by the way, when he was like, when he was trying to justify his behavior, all he said was that you said that he overcharged you. Right, right. I, I had said that in a recent video that they, he did and he overcharged me, whatever. And How I, much just you said, I never you? said his name, nothing. Four thousand dollars, and it normally would be three thousand dollars. Four thousand yeah. dollars for what? <laughs> Which I paid for, by the way, for a wig, two wigs. What? Wow. That's how much it cost? <laughs> I mean, I guess, bro. <laughs> It doesn't usually cost that much. But, I don't know. That seems like you, a lot. Oh, my God. To give you context, like, it was on a trip I went on with Jeffree Star last Valentine's Day, and they were, they basically told me, they basically made fun of me while I was on the trip. Basically he, said, he admitted that. My skin that. is greasy. Yeah, like he said it, and and Jeffrey too, and I was trying to be cool with Jeffrey because Shane and Ryland stuck up for Jeffrey, and I just was like, all right, I'm gonna be cool. I'm not gonna be that mean or whatever. I'm not gonna come for Jeffrey and expose him. But I finally just kind of like let it down a little bit. I'm like, he's not a nice person, whatever. And then I said the thing about Jay overcharging me, and like he did. He said they made fun of my skin. They said that I was boring. That they wanted me to go yeah, home. Yeah, he admits and I, all I, that. I, I offered to pay. I offered to pay for the. I offered to pay towards the private jet. I offered to pay my hotel room. I offered to pay every single thing. Like they never took me to dinner. He's like, oh, Jeffrey paid for all your meals. Never. They always ditched me before dinner. Like, they well, were, who cares what he paid for? Shit. Huh? Who cares what he paid for? His whole thing was like, oh, we paid for yeah. all this shit, so you have to endure and whatever we say and do to you. It's like what? It, it was the worst trip of my life, and I came home, and I told Shane, and I told my sister, I told my mom, everyone who knew I came home, I came home early. They were awful. They basically, like, smacked food out of my hand, told me I shouldn't be eating, told me I was poor because I asked the price of a Balenciaga bag. Like, oh, my God, you have to ask the price of how much that is before you buy it. Like, you're so poor. By, like, that's by the way, that guy's a hairdresser. Like, what the fuck is he to talk about asking prices? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I know. It was – and he said that, too. He's like, she, she rents that house she lives in. She doesn't own it, and that's something Jeffrey says. Like, that's that's their petty shit that they say, and I was like – it's just so crazy to me. It's so insane. And like, I'm just so sick of people like getting away with that stuff, especially Jeffrey. Like Rylan just had Jeffrey on his podcast and it pissed me the fuck off because Jeffrey is the worst person. And these are the, and it shows by that guy's video. Like I am a crazy person. I like, I have drama with people, but I never like go for people's like, look, smells. I'm going to say they're dead. Like all this stuff, especially Jeffrey and that guy. I, could, there's so many low blows I could take and I don't because it's like, what is the fuck is wrong with people? So wait, I have never heard of people acting like that. It that was all low so blow. Evil. Never. Yeah, it was all it was evil. So wait, what's wrong? Yeah. Okay. AB said you made a video about Shane, a TikTok about Shane. Uh, no, someone just said like, um, what, why, like, uh, I don't even know what the TikTok was. Something along the lines of like, why does Shane still support him or something? Uh -huh. I'll, I'll tell you right now. It says. 
is your best friend Shane going to stick up for you? And then this is, and it just, it just kind of did trigger me because they had him on Shane on Ryland's podcast, like just a week ago talking about the Kanye West thing. And I'm like, this person's shitty. Like he's a shitty person to me and anyone who's been shitty to them, I just disregard, you know what I mean? But mm. he's an actual awful person. They knew the week it happened, how awful it was. And I was just, I was just, I'm just done. I'm just done. I was protecting Jeffrey because he was friends with Shane, but I'm just so done with it all. And that's why I was just like, I don't know. It just was like a lot. And I'm just, I'm just really heated at the moment because all this is happening and the people showed up to my house, not once, but twice and like threatening me and all this crazy shit. And it's just like a lot. It's just like a lot because why? Because I said like, I like, and he was, he like harassed me before the trip. I asked him how much of the weeks, how much of the weeks he's like, Jeffrey's got you. Jeffrey's got you. Don't worry about it. And then like the day I come home early and don't come home with them. He's like, Oh, you owe me $4,000 for the weeks. And I'm like, that's fine. It was a Sunday. I'm like, I have to transfer money and all this crazy shit. And then I paid him. It wasn't an issue. I paid him. I didn't even say that you overcharged me. I just paid him. And then I was like, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I talked about it briefly in an, in a mukbang or whatever. I didn't even say his name. I was just like, this is, this is what happened. And they, they were awful. They're the worst people. And that video proved it. And I was like, this is the kind of It actually video. does it prove it. it. It's, like it's interesting yeah. because it would, it was just like your word. And, but like in that video, he literally admits to him and Shane <laughs> calling you fat making fun of your skin, saying you were born. What did I say? Jeffrey. Oh, Jeff. What did I say? Shane. Oh, sorry. I mean, Jeffrey and his little homie making fun of your skin, calling you fat. He was saying you were boring. It's like, what kind of fucking comment is that? (laughs) You're not there to entertain Because I didn't want to go out to the club with them. But when they were out of the club, there's a guy that was with us on the trip that wasn't on Jeffrey's payroll that made a video but took it down. And he said he had video footage of them at a club that I didn't go to. And the whole night that they're supposed to be out, like, partying, having fun, they're just talking about how disgusting I am and how greasy my skin is and how my hair is fried. I 100% believe that after watching That's that video crazy. there's a video there's a the guy took it down but i'm sure someone re-uploaded it the guy that was with us on the trip i forget his name but he was just a friend and he's like they just kept saying how poor trisha was and disgusting how and i was poor? like crazy shit how yeah. poor <laughs> what kind of fuck that's not a criticism <laughs> it just it just is Bruh. so yeah well, i don't like jeffrey the chat is all saying how beautiful you are trisha people are saying the chat is <laughs> writing spamming for you. it uh, and I've just been having so many issues. And on the first video, he's just mocking, like, that I'm suicidal and stuff like that. It's just, like, all this crazy shit. And it's just, like, watching it all over again. I'm like, these people will suck. And, like, I'm so tired of trying to, like, tiptoe around it. And even on the last friend of me, I was like, maybe I'm too hard on Jeffrey. But no. This is, like, him and, this is Jeffrey's, like, BFF. This is how they talk about people. Like, this is how they talk about why, people. This didn't just come out of nowhere. Why this is, is how Shane, they talk. Why is Shane and Royland, or what's Ryland. his husband's name? Rylan. Why are they still friends with Jeffrey? I have no idea. But Shane, and honestly, well, I'm not that person to be. Yeah. But Shane and Jeffrey are like, they have like this whole history together of selling the makeup and making a bajillion dollars. Yeah, maybe that's why. And that's the only thing I can think of because he's just a shitty, shitty person. And I'm never to be like, don't be friends with this person or whatever. But it's just like shitty thing after shitty thing. Not once did Jeffrey ever defend Shane during any of this. Like they both just hid. You know what I meant? And I was just like, and I stuck up for him. And I was like, Jeffrey's a shitty friend and a shitty person. Hmm. And I'm probably going to get killed. Like, uh, I honestly am actually, like, scared because, like, the person's, like, come to my house. Like, what and my that? security guard verified it. Why are they text. coming to your house? I don't understand that. I don't know. The guy told me he was in a black Dodge Charger. Then he got out with his friend. There was two of them. Took pictures of the car. The guy, my security guard got out of his car because they stay in a car. Which car? Got your, out your, started, like, pink, your pink uh, rolls? No, it's in the garage. <laughs> What were they taking pictures of? Oh, 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 like of it was Moses's car and my other car. I have a different car and not the uh, Rolls Royce. The Bentley? Yeah. <laughs> is it possible people are just looking at the nice cars? No, it always is. And that's 100% true. But I sent him the video of the guy. And he's like, oh, that 100% was this guy that was here twice yesterday. Huh. And it was like not a doubt in his mind. He's like, that's the guy. Weird. Because they got out of their car. People take pictures of the car all the time and like that's fine, whatever. But he's he had specifically remembered them and um yeah, so that was that was it. And now I have another security guy coming over today. So I have there's two. So when one goes to the bathroom, the other one's here. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. But anyways, I saw that I didn't want to be a part of this because I saw D'Angelo was on, but then I was like, Oh, then you guys are sticking up for me and being like amazing. So then I was like, Okay, we didn't really like, trap. Oh, yeah, we had a good combo with D'Angelo. Yeah, I didn't watch it, but I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's nice and whatever. It's just fine. I get why people don't like Shane. I'm not like trying to defend him. I just like love Shane. So like, no matter what, if he kills somebody, I'll be like, oh, I love Shane. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to defend him. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, that was painful to watch. I yeah. really couldn't believe this guy. I think that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that everything you say about Jeffrey is true. 
He literally admitted. I mean, it was, it's interesting. Right, right, and that's yeah. why. And to be honest, like it was. That's why I was like, oh, finally, people like see this shit. Yeah. I mean, like it's, it's so, it's so, it's, and it's, it's, it's worse. Honestly, it's worse. Yeah. It's funny. Shane, or Jeffrey's probably gonna be pissed because this guy basically just outed him as all that huh. shit being true. <laughs> You know, I know, and that's his friend. That's his person that he had with him on his trip to Wyoming two days ago. So this is someone that's like close to him saying this, and yeah, he had him without even trying. But honestly, like, aren't I was them, just, aren't I they was making just... fun of you for being poor? Isn't that like Jeff Bezos hanging out with Jeffrey Star and being like, he's so poor, he can't even afford his own <laughs> yacht? <laughs> like, you're not poor. Yeah, you're wealthy. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I, I don't know. It bothered me for some reason. I don't yeah, know why. It's corny like, as people, fuck. Yeah. He's so poor. Yeah. She's so poor. She doesn't even own her own fifteen million dollar mansion. <laughs> Psychos. It's so it's so weird. It's so odd. I was so confused. I don't know. I, the whole thing. I just wanted to put it out there because like it was actually kind of scary when I saw like the the first IG live was like thirty eight minutes long and there was like so much hatred towards me and I was like holy shit this is actually like kind of scary yeah, yeah and then when is. I sent the screenshot. Yeah, he's I so said angry. my guard, not thinking anything, but yeah, he's like, he was here, but he was so angry, and I've never, never had someone, like, just that much hatred, just, you know, like, when it's yeah. something, like, low blows like that, I was like, ooh, this is weird. Yeah, he felt aggressive to me, just in the way he was talking. Yeah, he is aggressive, I mean, like, he'd show me videos all the time of him, like, kicking people's asses, which is, like, that's what scares me, is because I know his history, like, he, 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 he like there's five, a three? viral video, someone... He's no, he's like I don't know. He's he's pretty big, but he was really? at Six Flags. There's a viral video, and he's jumping into the fight of beating like these people up at Six Flags, and he's like, "That's me, that's me." Like scrapping he's, he's, like, at Six Flags. That's like the trashiest yeah. thing I ever heard in my life, dude. It's a viral video. It's like a family fighting a family, and he just jumps in, and he like will show everybody. And like, dude, you're the, dude. If you're watching, you are the trashiest human being alive. Getting in a fight he's, at Six Flags is rock bottom, dude. Yeah. But I thank you guys for always, like, defending me. At first, I was like, oh, no. Because I, I clicked on the live, and I heard you guys talking about Shane, and I was like, oh, let me click out. And then I was just like, whatever. I don't care. Like, at least you guys are, like, defending me. And I was just like, oh, fuck. So, and I just, I just, it just makes me nervous. And I feel like the more I just get it out there, at least people will know. Because, like, I know I'm, like, paranoid a lot, and I hope I'm, like, just paranoid about this. But, like, if I, I get killed when I go outside or something without Moses, like at, like, at least people will probably know, like, there's a direction, you know? It's not just no one. Well, as you always say, if you do get murdered, that is pretty iconic. <laughs> well, I hope it's not by hair or by Jay. <laughs> That's that would it would be less iconic. If you could choose to be murdered by any person, who would it be? I guess Jeffrey himself. That oh, would really? Go down bigger. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. That's more iconic. Yeah. I wonder what you'd have <laughs> to do to get him to murder you. I don't want this. I don't. Even want, this is gonna be like a last clip of Trisha or something. I don't even want this out there because I feel like it's gonna be like bad. <laughs> so, Je but but I'm just saying, of any, of everyone on the earth, Jeffrey would be the best person to kill you, in terms of iconic uh, points. Yeah, because I feel like Jim Carrey could play him or something in the movie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey, if you're watching, we love. Don't that. send your people to do it. Just do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself. Do it yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could overpower but. Jeffrey, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Well, Trisha. I don't think I'm that, like, yeah. So, um, well, we'll we'll see you on uh, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm alive. Yeah. We're doing okay, trivia on Monday. But I'm glad to see you're oh. not crying because I, I think everyone in the chat was feeling like they wanted to see that you're okay because it it honestly looked so bad to be on the receiving end of that video no it was and well i did a i did a youtube video earlier and i was like shaken up but i feel like yeah. now that more people know about it and that i have yeah. people here and moses is on his way back like i feel a little like better but i was definitely like shaken up because i just felt like holy shit like this is it you know yeah, yeah. so aggressive so angry i was like what the hell yeah but anyway yeah. um he showed his true colors though we will see you on yeah, monday we're gonna be in trivia we'll be eating grilled cheese and apparently you 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 posted on Instagram some cookies, which apparently I understand you want as well. So yeah. if you ever want any specific food on Frenemies, just post it on Instagram. Because I'm, I'm so poor, I can't afford them. So. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we can afford them. We can afford the cookies. That's why I got it, yeah. All right. All right see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Trish. Bye, Trish. Hmm. We stand a queen. Oh, my God. That was my favorite part of the last frenemies, um, Trisha's subliminal message to you. Oh, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs>
<laughs> how was I supposed to understand that? She led with peanut butter. <laughs> like if she wanted me to understand that she wanted to eat grilled cheese, why lead with peanut butter? <laughs> oh, she says people eat grilled cheese with peanut butter. Nobody does that, right? I didn't think so either, but I, I, I've <laughs> since heard that I guess that is a thing in some places. How you a put it in thing. the sandwich? I'm not really. I don't really know. I don't like that. We have like to look that. up a recipe this week because we're we're making them on Monday. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me we're type. Make peanut butter. Peanut grilled cheese. butter. I don't see how it goes. Grilled together. cheese. Let's see. It's how, a wonderful it? thing. You know about this? Uh, oh yeah. Freak. You do? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're talking about a grilled Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh right. Oh, actually, really? the other day. That ain't tried right. that, and it's it's actually pretty good. It works. I'll Wouldn't you just it. rather just grilled cheese? Like weird yeah, cheese it, it, and peanut flavor. Just Wouldn't you just like rather like combo. the grilled cheese? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, if you you want to take a walk on the wild side, I don't. <laughs> People saying grilled PBJ is so good. I mean, I could Wait, see that. Now I'm just looking at peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. What, grilled, do, you, sure. what do you mean grilled peanut butter? It's just a, yeah, it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It doesn't matter if you <laughs> toast the bread or not. Right. <laughs> I don't like it. With the cheese seems odd. Uh, I don't like it at all. Well, you're going to eat it on Monday. Frank Sinatra's favorite cheeseburger had peanut butter on it. Yeah, well, he's dead, so <laughs> do the math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ela, I haven't had a hamburger in, like, years. No. What? No. I walk my ass off Every you just had day. Pizza recently. I'm eating fatty. Oh, Trisha. <laughs> but I only eat one meal a day. Everybody says I look good. Okay. Let's keep it going. I'm doing it for you. Right? But I eat one meal a day and I walk for like two hours. But every you day. don't want that one meal to be a burger. No, it doesn't matter because even if I go even if I go all out, it's like what? Max twelve hundred calories? I guess. But you might be hungry again because You're it's fat, not real fat, food. Fatty. Trisha, stop. This doesn't in, <laughs> this doesn't concern you. I just defended you and now you're calling me fat. <laughs> um, how long have we been going, Dan? Uh quite a while. Um God, there's so two, much uh, almost two and a half hours. Uh we should wrap it up. Probably. But well, there's so much here. There's just so much here. People think that you should eat the burger. That's what exactly what people did. Foot soldiers, you've got <laughs> you've done it again. Here's the thing: you the thing about the diet is to be sustainable, you have to treat yourself. But how frequently you had pizza like the other day? No, it was like a week ago, you know. It was not a. Full it was like week my ago. cheat meal. <laughs> when, when did you? For have no pizza? reason. I swear to God, it was a week ago. Ela's tripping. It was maybe, it was over the weekend, I think. So that's not quite a week ago. Oh, but, it, but it wasn't just the other day. I need to start writing it down for your benefit. Sure. <laughs> I think people would be interested in, my, okay. in a food diary. Okay. I would be. By the way, I didn't really enjoy the pizza. It was kind of Haha, gross. Haha, bitch, I'm laughing because you big mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, you? <laughs> Wait, you said you didn't enjoy the pizza? No, it was well, like... it doesn't count then. Right. <laughs> it was it was disappointing because none of my business. No, I'm not I'm just saying that I didn't enjoy it. It was a shame. Cuz it was from this Italian place and it was like uh they called it what did they call it? flatbread. And it was just like super it was it was oh, a disaster. That's that's poser pizza. I they shouldn't be. They shouldn't legally be allowed to call that pizza. Well, they flatbread. did call it you flatbread. Know, like when you have a newborn baby, you do a baby journal. I'll do a food journal. Do for you. keep a food journal. I welcome you. <laughs> but the thing is, even if I'm eating questionable food, I'm still under calorie Fine. and exercising every day. My trajectory is still down. Okay. You got to trust me now. Pizza is actually very nutritious. <laughs> <laughs> A.B., I noticed that you eat almost only fast food. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's I'm pretty crazy. What's your eating habit like? It's horrible. It's, it's because of, well, moving for one, and then COVID and my sleep schedule combined, they're kind of uh, But you don't have groceries in your house? I do, but... You don't cook, don't you said, right? What is it? You don't cook, right? Oh, I thought you said I don't poop. Yeah. Uh, cook. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't really cook that much. Um, Lena's been cooking this past week, though, so shout out to Lena. That's good. If, if, I, yeah, may we, say, 
it, first time I went over to your house, AB, you're like, do you want something to eat? I'm like, oh, okay, what do you guys want? Well, I got an orange. An orange? <laughs> <laughs> he made that whole story out of me eating uh, an orange and asking if he wants one. He's like, you want an orange? Oh, did you make that up, Zach? He's, no, that's he, all he has. He's accusing you of making that story up. I said he got that whole narrative from me offering him just an orange. Well, that's all I you had in your stuff, fridge. Man. You need, did you see my fridge? I don't think you saw my fridge. Okay, you weren't Amy, what, what was in your fridge? Did you have more than an orange? I had some water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had some what? Some, some water, water bottles? <laughs> yeah. So Zach is right. Yeah, no, I had, I had a few. Yeah, I guess not a lot. I'm just always like on the go. Like I'm very impatient. That's my problem with everything. So like if I'm hungry, I'm not going to make something. And Lena's asleep. I don't want to wake her up. So I have to go That's throw it. That's I was for box. years, man. I finally had to you get, slow it down. You, if, you, if you prepare something at home, you'll eat faster than if you go to a, probably a drive how, how old are you, AB? 28. In two years, you will stop being able to, uh, to eat that way. Oh, I'm Guarantee starting to feel it. it. I'm definitely starting <laughs> to feel it. So what's your favorite fast food? Um, that's tough. I don't probably, it, this, this is going to sound trashy maybe, but KFC, <laughs> but I don't, I don't eat that. That's the one it's I no, eat the least often. No, what more you, or less what, trashy what, than any other. Yeah. Food. What do you eat mm. most often? Cause if you're eating a lot of fast food, like what's your go-to? Uh, McDonald's. What do you get? It's, it's just the closest one. <laughs> probably a quarter pounder with cheese meal. Not halal, bro. Yeah. Not halal, halal with cheese. No, I, I eat not halal. I just don't eat pork. Mm, I see. And AB, if I, if I can say one more thing, just to give you a little more love, his sleep schedule, he's like going to bed when I'm waking up. No, his, his sleep schedule is, mine is messed up, his is truly fucked. Yeah. I don't understand his sleep schedule, because like, I'll send a message at 3 a.m., he'll answer. Then I'll, answer, then I'll send you a message at 6 a.m. It's just, it's just weird. You always, weird, always yeah. answer. Do well, you, sometimes yeah. he Do naps. Do you actually sleep? <laughs> I, I, I'm a very light sleeper. Like, if my phone's on loud, I'll hear it. You think you actually have a sleeping disorder or you just have a bad schedule? No, I think I have a sleeping disorder. Mm -hmm. My parents, like, they, like I said, they don't sleep well either, but I'm definitely worse than they are. Do you have it diagnosed? Uh, no. My, my parents have got sleep uh, studies, but I haven't. I need to get one. Ian did a sleep study. Ian could recommend you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a plug. The thing I, is, I know a guy. <laughs> Last night, I was actually about to sleep early, but Lena's like, Lena has like night terrors and she talks a lot in her sleep. Oh, oh no. She started like chanting yesterday and she scared the, she scared the shit out of me. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Did you say and chanting? And now she does this thing where she like could wake up and conversate with me while she's sleeping. Oh my God. So, she's like, I have to send the samples or something. I think she's talking about oh, work. No, oh, she's having no. nightmares about that. Victory, prayer. victory, victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are the worst oh, work no. nightmares. I used to have this all the time when I was a uh, James a Charles waiter. is trending, y'all. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Drug for clapping back at a. Yo, WOC. this this episode's off the chain. What's James Charles trending for? Clapping back at a. I'm assuming woman of color is WOC. Uh, well. You okay? Let's get the details before I comment. Sister. Sister snap. Sister snatched. Sister snatched. James Charles is trending, everybody. Sister snatched. Let's see. Guys, Queen Vaughn and James Charles. I don't know who that is. What a stupid tweet. One. So this was from today. One from, Dude, James Charles is such a diva. Like, he gets in shit with everybody. Okay. One, foundation so costs we. $50. Artists have to buy every shade for their kit. And that's just the first step. It's expensive to work as a makeup artist. Either pay an artist rate for the time of skill, do it yourself, or get it done at a counter and risk looking busted. I didn't see the tweet he's responding to. Here. Oh, here. It's on his Twitter still. You can actually go to the tweet. Uh-oh. He's responding to a tweet that says, if you charge over 150 to do a face of makeup, you can go to hell respectfully. And then he just, like, attacked her. <laughs> it's like, bro, just chill. Why well, you gotta... It's like, okay, maybe she's not... Maybe maybe there's exceptions, you know? But why you gotta, like, fucking attack her? Yeah. <laughs> she goes, yo. And then he goes, what a stupid tweet. You're gonna look busted. 
got really sad. Why did he have to go out of his way too? To That's what he always way? does. He just he thinks he's such a fucking big deal. Wasn't and then she responded to him, right? Hang on. Now I'm in the fucking drama sphere <laughs> right now, bye. James Charles. Go to her page. Let's get glam. Let's get glam. Okay, so she responded, What a dumbass to be in my business replying to something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. I agree. I'm having a debate about hood prices, baby. Stay over there in Hollywood where they have you looking ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's right. Like, mind your own fucking business. Why are you going on blast? Oh, is she talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, you, you gotta shut up, James. You're, you're always causing shit. This is a little spooked magooked. Spook magooked? Sounds racist. All right. Well, okay. We're up to date on James Charles' drama. <laughs> Sister. Someone in the chat said, Ethan asking Evie about his diet is dirty talk for him. Talking <laughs> about what's good right <laughs> Oh, dirty talk? Yeah. yeah. But, so, do you not eat a lot? Like, what's your deal? Do you not? No, I do eat a lot. How, many meals, a, how many meals yeah, a day Every time you I hit you up, you're like, hold on, I'm driving back from Del Taco. <laughs> Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually like, want to get a burger. <laughs> no, I I mean I, I did I got lucky I guess with my metabolism, but now it's slowing down because it's going all to my gut and nowhere else. My arms, legs are still skinny, but getting a gut. Uh, you're that's, still a stud. That's exactly Come on. It. You are still a stud though. Wait, how many times a day do you eat? All over the place. I feel like I'm always snacking, but like an actual like meal probably three times. So you you'll eat like McDonald's three times in a day? Uh, sometimes no, I mean, not, that's not all fucking the time. crazy dude yeah. yeah you're gonna have to change even, even that. at my worst I don't think I would you can't like when you hit your 30s it's not gonna stay like that your body will not stay like that yeah, yeah. yeah. don't you feel like you need vitamins and shit no interesting I always wonder about that because people go you gotta eat good food you gotta get vitamins and shit. it's like People survived on bread and rice. Like, what, like you know what I mean? I think it's different. Is for vitamins person. overblown a little bit? Uh, People no, literally not. survived on rice. That has, like, nothing in it. Surviving, yeah, but, you know. Look at AB. He's flourishing. The dude eats McDonald's for three meals a day. <laughs> I wasn't this bad when I was But well, you can do that in your 20s oh, when you're young. Yeah, he's 28. He's not that young. Well, he's just said he's starting to feel it. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that is right around the time where you start to feel it for sure. Yeah, I mean, I ate like that in, in my twenties too. You did? Oh yeah, big time. I ate horribly. Ah, oh, those were the days. <laughs> well, in college, yeah, every meal because I didn't cook shit, so it was well, yeah, like Subway, me, Mexican. To, yeah, I would eat fast food almost every day. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. Sister snapped. My pillow's trending. What's that about? Yeah, somebody in response to you saying people lived off of rice says, and they died in their 30s. <laughs> hmm. Life expectancy was a lot shorter. When Do you think it was the rice or just like the, the fact that they didn't have well, running just, water? I mean, if somebody is literally only eating rice, that, that isn't good, I, I guarantee you. That's a, fair, that's, I mean, that's a fair point, sure. I know genetics has a big, you know, deal, a big part in it, but I also feel like I don't know, I could be wrong. My own theory, too, it's like how you were raised to, like your diet growing up. Um, that, com of course, combined with your genetics, I feel like contributes as well. What is the MyPillow drama? I love this MyPillow guy. He's such a He's fucking so stooge. And by the way, for the record, I have bought a MyPillow. It fucking sucks. That's what Zach said, too. He it said sucks. He threw it away. It's a shitty pillow. Awful, dude. I think <laughs> he just has a good pitch where you're like, yeah, I should... Yeah, I should have a better pillow. I don't think anybody likes my pillow. I think it's just everybody trying it and then being like, this pillow fucking sucks. Every time he comes on the TV, I just so crack him. People are just wondering why he's in the um, White House and he was seen with a document that has notes on it and like it's about the insurrection. 
<laughs> the my fellow guy is leading the insurrection. <laughs> he's he's uh he's the Napoleon of MAGA. There's like something marked off with a marker. Yeah, hint. Oh wow, they actually got a close up of it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, he's the my pillow guy and Trump are like close, which is so odd. Like, <laughs> how much is that guy worth? The pillows, to help, to help the white out. What is his name? Mike Liddell or some shit? Yeah. Um. His commercials are all about Jesus too. Like, it's always like a close up on his cross and shit. And you're like, ah, oh, this guy. What? <gasps> what? M net worth of Mike Liddell from My Pillow three hundred million. I actually would have thought it was what? more than that. More? He oh, sells geez. pillows in infomercials. I know, but he's got it's an empire, man. Why? It's the what? How do you make that much money selling pillows, Bruh. I don't know. Oh, Ashton, geez. Ashton asked Ethan, tell us more about your workout routine. I'm trying to drop some twenty twenty weight, and curious what you do. <laughs> I'm still, I'll get to that, but this MyPillow guy, he started his business in 2014. In a mere 16 years. That is amazing. QVC picked it up, too. And that's where he gets, like, the majority of it. But his. I don't get it, because the pillow fucking sucks. Like, does anyone like this pillow? Is that the one that you just bought? No, that was a different one. That one also sucks. Don't buy pillows online. Or don't buy pillows you see in commercials. Just don't. I my thing with pillows I've tried good bad expensive cheap there's no trick with pillows they all suck just get one that you know what I mean like there's no trick it's just a fucking pillow just get one you like there's no life hack but you would think if you made this much money selling pillows you would be onto something but they really suck what kind of sleeper are you side me too it's sick bro Sick. Sick, so my 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 workout routine is really simple. I just get on the tread. So I have a Peloton, which is basically just a stationary bike, and a treadmill. And I'll just walk on the treadmill at about two miles per hour with a slight incline. And I just walk basically until my feet are just killing me, which is usually like an hour and upwards of two hours. And you can you burn like 300 calories easily in an hour, which is pretty substantial. Sometimes if my feet are hurting really bad, I'll just hop on the um, pellet, the stationary bike, because it doesn't it doesn't hurt my feet at all. Sometimes I'll start on the stationary bike, do like 30 minutes, and then finish on the treadmill. So it's I like having both because sometimes my feet just hurt, and so I can get on this the stationary bike. But what's really, what really helps for me is that I have something I like doing that distracts me. So I look forward to doing it right. And the time passes so fast and it's just such a breeze. Like I'm playing, my, even on the stationary bike, I've got my controller, I'm playing. And the time just goes by so fast and you're doing something you enjoy. So it's just, it's just a good time, honestly. I like it. Someone is saying, um, put the incline up more and you'll burn more calories faster. And jumping rope burns more calories. Oh, Hair by Jay's back. Doing that, though. Hair by Jay's back, y'all. Send me the link, baby. Let's see. <gasps> is he going to go live? How come he just went private for like two seconds? It's weird. Hair by Jay, you owe Trisha an apology. Anyway, I'm over here by Jay. So that's about it. Oh, I got the link. I'm back in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So have you seen the cube pillow? It's for side sleepers. I want to know if it's good. That's the it one sucks. that Ethan bought. Fucking sucks. It's, it's so dumb. It's just whatever. dumb. It doesn't make sense. It's so stupid. I don't think anybody that actually buys it likes it. <laughs> that's it. I don't know, but it, it's it look. They have this slick commercial, and it looks like oh, that makes sense, you know. But it does. It doesn't. It just doesn't work. There's no shortcut. Higher incline, ah. three speed for thirty minutes. Okay, guys. People here are getting very detailed. <laughs> Thank. You. So anyway, that that about wraps it up for today. So remember, guys, if there's a new episode tomorrow. 
New episode of the HP podcast tomorrow. With with some redactions, unfortunately. With a few redactions. Yeah, we had to chop out. Which are available some. to our members. Yeah, if you wanna, if you if you're a member, and uh, since we have a lot of new members, people might not be aware. If you, um, I, I believe you'll find them in the community tab. There's a members page, tab actually. now too. It might be there. Yeah, if there you go to the communities tab, tab um, there'll be posts there with links to the members only version, and that you can get the the uncensored episode. And it's available now for members, and otherwise it'll be out tomorrow for everybody else. And just real quick, we got a few donations about um, background play. I know we have a lot of new members. We've uh, acknowledged it before, but that's not on our end. They didn't fix that to... still? Yeah, they, no, they're they're effort. I still see the complaints about it, and it's, uh, it's, it's a YouTube thing. I've it, been bitching a... at YouTube forever, and I don't know why. There's something. I wonder if it's to prevent people. The only thing I can think of is if it's to prevent people from downloading it somehow but it to you know get around the no, membership that's a they told me it's a bug mm. so it's just a bug okay yeah. well um, yeah unfortunately it is out of our control we're not we're not intentionally turning it off if that's what you thought but thank you so much to all the members it really makes a huge difference it's very beautiful very nice god bless it uh also just a little announcement at the end of the show here teddy fresh next week is going to be care bears week so we actually just got word today oh wait we have to wait we have to oh no we have to delay the <laughs> release one you gotta week. add dog oh, this has been up on our website for like a whole week i know we just I've been got waiting. the word today Bruh. i've just cool been sitting at home watching made. the countdown i know but <laughs> people, oh that's so sucky and that's why well, COVID is, uh, it's just COVID. This is just is crazy uh, uh splash screen you guys put together here though we've had so much fun working on this one and it took a long time to perfect everything but i cannot wait oh i didn't even realize you're wearing that yeah, yeah. it's a uh, little carabers inside the letters it's really cool uh, so that's um, about it eh yeah that's about it, hey. that was fun that was a good episode thank you guys for joining had fun as always. Love being here with you guys. Love the live show, eh? Yeah. Hey. hey. I do love the love show. The love the love. I'm so glad we're love doing live life. again. It's just we so nice. To, uh, we mentioned it earlier, but we'll have to figure out um, what to do about it next week. Right. Because of uh, Ela will be out, so. You guys want a live stream of my polyps being removed? Why don't we just do it on Thursday? Or <laughs> don't ask that. People will be like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we do it? We can do it on <laughs> Saturday or Thursday. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, let's talk about it because yeah, we, we have it. some I'll other episodes planned for next week as well. So we'd have to. Because we'll just skip for a week, as sad as that is. Tragic. That would be tra tragic. Tragical. Tragic. All right, y'all. You know how I feel about you. And I'll give you a hint. You're listening to the HP I like you a lot more than Jay does hair likes Trisha. <laughs> I feel about you guys how Jay, if you would convert what Jay does hair about Trisha into the invert, into love and appreciation and affection, that's how I feel about you guys. I joined to tell Ethan not to be disrespectful about Mormonism oh, with peace and love. Peace and love, I'm sorry. Listen, I... If I was disrespectful, we, yeah, I don't. Well, I'm just curious. I said I think Mormons are the nicest people in the world, man. You know, peace and love. And like the secret. I mean, don't be mad at me about the secret handshake. Some stooge fucking put a camera in his robe. It's crazy. It's crazy that someone penetrated that deep and was just a total stooge, like a total undercover. It's pretty impressive. Probably someone who was already thinking of becoming an ex. You think so? Maybe you're right. Because you know? that's a real circle of trust where you be caressing each other's hands and shit. Back to the end of the Wouldn't song. it be funny though if they were just like the secret handshake? Come here, Ela. Was just like, like, but come on, don't you know how to do it? Like, like, what's up, doc? What's up, doc? <laughs> Just, that's it. <laughs> You're like, what's up, homie? That's gonna, that would be dumb. I've seen some messages saying, be careful, it goes deeper than what you think. <laughs> like, it's people bringing up, like, Illuminati and stuff. I know Mormon goes deep, 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 but I ain't fucking, I don't want any part of it. You know about the whole thing, uh, that Mormons are 
uh, way over representative uh, in the intelligence community. Really? Yeah, there's like tons of Mormon CIA agents. What? <laughs> That's, <a thing. laughs> That's weird. I think that it's because they um, they live such a clean lifestyle. They're considered uh, uh, not susceptible to black people. Essentially, I don't know what happened. They don't drink. All of a they don't philander. They, you know what I mean? Like, right. They're clean cut. So hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. They they're like perfect FBI agents. Right, and FBI too. Maybe it's You're FBI and not CIA, actually. Or maybe it's both. I just know that there's a lot of Mormon uh, intelligence. Agents. Well, I will say about Mormons, I know Mitt Romney is like a famous Mormon. He is, in my opinion, con conducted himself with so much respect and uh, integrity throughout this whole thing. So, yeah, I think he represents Mormons well. Gone through the end song um, twice. Two so times. there's starting the third rotation. There's now. a division here. People are saying don't eat the burger, and people are saying eat the burger. Well, let's do a straw poll. And they're all typing in all caps. Do the straw poll for eat the burger. Eat the poo poo. Eat the burger. And then they eat the poo poo. All I know is I'm starving because I haven't eaten Me today. Too. Fisting. But that's what I'm saying, like, it's 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. That's how we do it. And then I have a meal and I walk for a trillion You're years. You're gonna be hungry again later. No, I cut it out. I, I, I go, no more food, motherfucker. <laughs> this is sick. Here, open the results. Or actually, here, send me, send me two in the chat so I can put it on screen. Someone send that in the chat. I'm, yeah. All right, let's see. Come on, Fitch, soldiers. Yes. Oh, so close. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. The way that you The way that you phrased it's it, Dan, fun. is a little fucked up. What's it down? I'm just saying it the way he phrased it is fucked Look up. Look how close it is. Cuz he's well, uh, there's a clear winner here. <laughs> <laughs> yes is winning by, you know, 10 points. I'm going to keep spamming. Wait. Only 1,300 votes. There's a lot more people than that watching right now, so... I, I found that the margin never changes on these things. <laughs> you know? That's interesting. Like, you got a sample... Look, the votes go up, but the... It's always like it's that in changing. straw polls. They lit, like, the sample size is so statistically predictive. Hmm. It doesn't ever change. It's pretty amazing. All right. Uh-oh, Jeffrey tweeted about Trisha. Drama, go, click. Uh, send it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, we can't help it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it oh, like here he goes. I have personally apologized to Trisha several times last year about Vegas, and she has never responded, which is her right. I respect it, and what happened is between us. Don't drag me into new drama. Not interested. What someone else says does not represent me. Hmm. Well, like you said, he's probably pissed at that guy. Yeah. He is. No, it does seem like... To Jeffrey's credit, it does seem... I, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, if but it seems like he wants said, no part in this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, he's trying to stay out of it. Let me think about this. I mean, that guy was way out of line, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And he he 100%. Yo, if you don't want to be dragged into drama, you better tell your homie to keep his fucking mouth closed then. Because he brought you into it. All right. I mean, you, pop, but, like, so he's confirming what she says, which does mean that you're kind of a, like, major fucking psychopath. Uh-oh, let's keep it going, Jeffrey. Someone said, imagine if we didn't have social media and no one would know what others did or thought. Exactly. I've already said my piece to her, and if she ever wants to call or text me back, she will. What Jay said on live was fucking disgusting. Okay. It does not reflect how I've ever felt. I should have, shouldn't have to say that, but I'm screaming it. Okay, that's, well, that's good. good. I'm glad to hear that. Jeffrey, you are absolved. Right? Of this I, well, I'm not, I'm not here, absolving yeah. you, but I'm glad that you disavowed what Jay said, and you said it was fucking disgusting. I mean, you have to be insane to not do that, but yeah. S well, he could have right. just said nothing. Yeah. But I guess he feels like he's in a drama now. Why are you laughing, Dan? 
I, I cut to myself uh, collapsing. That's why I gotta go on <laughs> the chat is laughing at me. Oh, this is turning into a scoop now. Trisha finally coming out and talking about Jeffree Star and Hair by Jay. Really shows how long these things take to talk about. Dude, Jeffrey and Hair by Jay bowling Trisha is so disgusting. Oh, we got to change the title of this episode now. <laughs> we got to title it Jeffrey Star and Hair by Jay bullying Trisha Paytas. That's true. Do you think bowling will get us oh, yellow? Probably. So hold on. I mean, Maybe verse Trisha Paytas. Jeffrey, did did Jeffrey really bully her? I mean, yes, back when they were in Vegas, definitely. Well, he's saying that he apologized and that and he's distancing himself from the. Well, I get it. You're trying to. Dad, are you serious? It. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just. I'm saying. a what the fuck? We just what? read his tweet. It seems. It's I'm even, talking. Even I'm clickbaiting. Okay. Don't you understand? I, I, yes, I do. I understand. And it's not even necessarily You're not right. true. He admitted to doing. Oh, she she responded. Oh boy. oh boy. If you didn't want to be involved in the drama, why is he speaking your name in the video on your behalf? Confirming all the hard shit you guys said about me. I have been cool, but he speak on your behalf multiple times in his feed. Drag him, girl. This show is such a fucking. This is awesome. Okay, let's work on a title. Do we have to do that live? Yes, this is interesting. As we learned earlier, how the sausage made. Ian, is it interesting? Why are you asking Ian? I don't know, because I haven't heard from him. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> It's so interesting. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I feel like that kid when we're like, you know, in class is getting out and the one kid's like, wait, don't we have to turn in homework or something? I feel like that's what I just did right now by sending that last tweet. <laughs> it was great. I'm glad yeah. you did. <laughs> so listen, keep me updated if there's more tweets because I don't want to miss anything, okay? All right, for sure. Yeah. Let me like this real quick. You go, girl. Mm, 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 mm. Love being in the middle of this. I'm not in the middle of it. I'm just, I'm enjoying the show. But I'm Team Trisha, of course, all the fucking way. <laughs> okay, here's the new title. <laughs> Trisha Paytas versus Jeffree Star and Hair by Jay. Do you want to give someone an idea of how to propose to his girlfriend after five years? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I will. But but do we, let, help me with this title, guys. We need to slam dunk this. <laughs> Is that good enough? Are I, I guess. Jeffrey Star and Hair? Do people know who Hair by Jay is? I was like, about to say, who's Hair by Jay? Sorry, like, sorry, you're nobody. So, sorry, you're nobody. Excuse me. Trish is rubbing oh, up on you, man. He has some big people following him. <laughs> Cardi B follows him. Oh, oh, for real? Yeah. All right. Wonder what he says about her behind her back. Coronavirus. <laughs> 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 Does anybody? You're getting good with that, Zach. Good job, man. So fast. I like that. Thank you. That's my. That's my. It's a dream, yeah, that's my dream for you. Just to be able, be that quick. I uh, all I think now is in sound bites. It's like that's it's what not, I'm not even joking. That's what I want from you. This is Paytas versus Jeffrey Star and Hair by Jay. But don't you think like Jeffrey Star bullied Trisha is kind of epic? But we don't like the bully. We don't think bowling will hit land good. Like with the. I don't think YouTube is gonna like the word bullying. Yeah, I don't think yeah. so either. But the verse is clean. But it's not really a verse. It's like he's being a douche to her. What about? What about um, squashing the beef, yada yada, and Trisha calling? Hmm. Trisha calls in. We got to get rid of squashing the beef. Nobody cares. That's like, pff, that's old news, bro. That's nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's but interesting, though, now. People wanted to hear about that. Squashing the beef with... Hmm. Squashing the beef and warming up the tea. Then you're muted, someone said. Oh, well. Is, do people have um, suggestions? They're How about this? Oh, we are, oh, 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 I got uh, a good one. Okay, Shoe Nice thinks we're stoned. No wish. Wish. No wish. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Trisha Paytas exposes Jeffree Star. Here's and one. Hairs by Jay. Hairs by Jay. <laughs> Some suggestions. Uh, Trisha versus Jeffree. Insane. And no, awesome. I'm not doing that whole aspect. Um, <laughs> Trisha versus Mean Girl Jeffree Star. 
Mm-hmm. Well, hold on. I think I have a good one. Trisha Paytas exposes Jeffrey Star and Hairs by Jay. Hair by Jay. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <on. laughs> Watching drama and snatching wigs. <laughs> I think that's the good. Beef podcast. Squashing um, drama. We love the beef squash. We love the. Okay, beef. this is it. Tell me if you think it's good. Trisha Paytas exposes Jeffrey Star live. Live. On call. Trisha Paytas. Keep the drum roll going, Zach. Don't hit the gong until we decide. Trisha Paytas versus Jeffrey Star and D'Angelo calls in. There's so much action. Hmm. <laughs> D'Angelo calls it, but is D'Angelo enough? It's just his first name. Um, he's the D'Angelo on YouTube. I mean, there's not another D'Angelo. Hmm. You guys don't like what I said? Trisha okay. calls in and exposes Jeffree Star. It's a little... That is such a good title, people. <laughs> A.B., Zach, Ian, chime in. Why don't we insinuate he was at the Capitol riots too? <laughs> <laughs> Trisha Paytas call well, Trisha Paytas calls in <laughs> to expose QAnon shaman Jeffrey Star. The beef episode featuring Trisha Paytas call in. Trisha Paytas proves conclusively that Jeffrey Star is Q. <laughs> Jeffrey Star is Q. Shouldn't I say it? I hate the Paul brothers. Okay, Shu. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of irrelevant to what Thank we're talking sure. about. Thank you, Shu. Sure. You guys uh, like Trisha my show? Trisha Paytas snatched Jeffrey's wig on live stream. Oh. Je- say that again? <laughs> Trisha attacked by unknown hairstylist. <laughs> by, bro- by poor, poor, hairsty- poor unknown hairstylist we're bad threatens skin. Trisha Paytas. <laughs> and a little overweight. <laughs> yeah. Um, Trish ver- versus Jeff Star, D'Angelo, and H3 smashed. Should I eat a burger? <laughs> Ethan, Ethan should eat a burger, 55%. <laughs> okay, here we go. Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Keeps restarting. <laughs> Trisha Paytas exposes Jeffree Star and Hair by Jay live. But that's the one I like. Is no is one. nobody backing me up? It's not it's great. A, it's not, it's a mean, little yeah. like Okay, okay, okay. Trisha Paytas snatches Jeffrey's wig live. I mean, that's pretty good. What does that mean? <laughs> it's pretty good. I like that one. No, Thank what does that mean? Guys. Snatch the wig? <laughs> well, exactly, exactly what you just said. What does that mean? It draws interest. <laughs> Not really. Why don't I just call it poo poo in a duty in a wig in a snatching. ditch? Wig, wig snatching when someone unexpectedly and abruptly airs out somebody's dirty laundry in front of many. Do people, people know what wig snatching yeah. is? That's a, yeah. You Zach, you know what wig snatching is? No fucking. Clue, I've never man. heard that in my life. No idea. Yeah, you have no I've business knowing what that, that is. Too. Hayden said, "Like some Love Victorian you guys. Long time look liner. Can you guys have Trisha read?" Hamlet on Frenemies. She hasn't done a fast read in a while. But. Say what? <laughs> he wants to. He wants, he wants her to, to read like Hamlet. Read yeah. Okay, Hamlet? sure. Let's do it. Could be funny. To be or not to be, this is the question. I'll try it too. <laughs> <laughs> Ten beefs, one stew. Okay. The Angela and Ethan squash the beef. Ten beefs, one stew. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading comments. <laughs> How to lose friends by influential people. Okay. Make meats now. Smoking these meats here. Poo poo and duty in a ditch. Yeah. Like, oh, it doesn't make any sense. It'll make intrigue. <laughs> Pork barrel in I'm all the, the tea. <laughs> Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Two beefs, one squad. Boomer Ethan. <laughs> Trisha Paytas. Two. Okay. Keep that drum roll going, Zach. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> to beef or not to beef? To H3 beef or not to beef? Too. H3HT. Trisha's sn- sister snatches Jeffree Star. 
<laughs> These are not helpful, you guys. <laughs> like way too <laughs> Okay, no here, Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Jeff. Okay, here. Um, this person said, "Oh my God, y'all, just do Trisha versus Jeffrey and Harris by J." Boom. I like that. There you go. Okay, so wait. Here's the title. Trisha vs. Jeffrey and Hair by J. Trisha Paytas vs. Jeffrey Star and Hair's... <laughs> no, I, said, I don't know why I said that too. Hair by J. Trisha calls in live oh, stop. Too to long. expose. Too plus long. D'Angelo. And... <laughs> don't do the gong on that. We're not ready. <laughs> no, he's After right. You ran out of time. Bring the drum roll back. Oh okay. God, no. Okay, do we just like Trisha Paytas versus Jeffree Star and Hair by Jay? <laughs> He's got Alfredo. Do we like that? <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to wrap this up. Help me. Hold on. Yes. Look at Alfredo. He's cute. I know he's cute. Said, that was good. Poo poo and duty in a ditch, or <laughs> <laughs> Trisha versus Poo poo and duty in a ditch. <laughs> Will that create more intrigue? I don't know which one's better. <laughs> Trisha finally tells the truth about Jeffrey and Kanye. <laughs> right. Like Trisha Holy finally Kanye. tells the Oh, that's just that's just brutal. <laughs> Alright, Ian. Wait, so so Trisha finally tells the truth about Jeffree Star live. No, you just changed it. But that's good. Trisha versus Jeffrey and Hair by J. Done. I don't know if that's good. Do people good. like that? It's perfect. It's poo poo and a duty in a ditch. Poo poo duty in a ditch? Poop a duty in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a let's the guys. What do you? What's the best title here? Ian, Ian. wake up and help me. What are you doing, Ian? Oh, Ian, Checking what's the title? Thumbnail. Oh, you're working on a thumbnail. That's nice. What's the title? What's the title, Ian? Just put Jeffrey, Trisha, D'Angelo, critic. Just put their names. Oh, that's like kind of a good 15 idea. Names in a row. Okay, let's do this. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Is that what you think? Trisha Paytas, Jeffrey Star, Hairs by J, D'Angelo Wallace, Critical. I'm seeing, I'm seeing yeses. We like that? Yes. End it. People are begging us to end the podcast. <laughs> Is that it? Which isn't usually something that happens. Okay, I think you can hit the gong. <laughs> It's poop boy and a dude in a day. Trisha Paytas, Jeffrey Star, Hair by J, D'Angelo Wallace, and Critical. Make it happen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're done. Trisha Paytas, Jeffrey Star, Hair by J? Hair by J. Jeffrey Star, Hair by J, D Angelo. D'Angelo oh, Wallace. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dash H3 after dark number and cri 19. And critical. Oh, critical too. Jesus. Read it back to oh, me. Oh, Jesus. Jeffree Star tweeted out, I just landed back in LA and there's fires. Is that real? What? And somehow I'm being dragged in someone else's mess. Turn the plane well, right back around. Not someone else's exactly. Boy, you better own it up. There's fires though? Oh, Jesus. It is so, hot. I heard the drama. I'm assuming the... Drama. No, it's okay. Whatever. We'll find out when we. T okay, so read it to me, Dan. Trisha Paytas, Jeffrey Star, Hair by J, D'Angelo Wallace, Critical, H3 Podcast, After Dark, Number Nine. Is that everything? Let's just put Alfredo's name in there. Too. <laughs> and Alfredo, <laughs> don't do it. Good luck with that thumbnail, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> For After Dark, we just do you guys usually. Oh, we gotta yeah. sneak them in there. We gotta sneak some faces. Okay, we're there. not starting now a conversation. All right, all right, all right. No. guys, we've done it all. We've said and we've done it all. So, 
You're listening to the HP podcast. Who we got on the What in Mexican? Is that Mexican food? Mexican food? What are we thinking today? What you going to do with me then? Are you trying to be mean? You trying to fuck my whole day up? The people want to know. Such a dick. I mean, we've been through a lot to decide. So, are you either, ma- you're either making fun of me or you weren't paying attention? This is curious, man. It's burger. It's burger. You know it's burger. It's a burger, boy. Have you not been listening? Straw poll Mexican versus burger. <laughs> no, I don't want Mexican. Ian, were you listening to the burger part or are you just giving me a hard time? I'm just, you know, just trying to open up the options. Open a bit. <laughs> trying to open up the options. What are you eating? I don't know. Burger sounds good. There you go. Thank you. Hmm. Passive aggressive behavior by Ian. <laughs> she was making a joke. It was goofy. <laughs> he doesn't appreciate. It's because at the end of almost every episode, you he ask about says, Mexican. So do you want Mexican? He doesn't appreciate the trauma. <laughs> it's obviously the first <laughs> Of deciding really what to off eat. That one. Yeah. <laughs> what? I threw the banana peel down. You slipped on it. I didn't Look at your your brain is fried. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> I don't. E- I don't understand Erica, what you're saying. 404. <laughs> Why are you so shy? I didn't hear what he's saying. I just. I didn't hear the words. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this has been a long ep. How long we've been going? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up, though, for real. This is becoming more of a poopoo in a ditch now. <laughs> <laughs> a poopoo in a doodoo in a ditch. Add add to the title. Oh, Ian roasts Ethan. Oh my god. <laughs> Ian ruins Ethan's weekend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian. People are saying I'm hangry. Maybe I am hangry. You are hangry. I haven't eaten anything. I don't want people to start thinking that like me and Ian actually have beef like what happened last time. We're going to have to squash it. That's my We're going to have to squash it next week. We know the title of next week's episode already. Ethan and Ian squash oh, the beef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The song has played twice again. All right, then played just it. cut it. Right. I mean, why would you say, why do you want Just Mexican food after it. everything we've been through this side? <laughs> we voted on the hamburger. I even got the majority by a miracle of God. I've somehow convinced Ela that it's okay to get a hamburger. And then you got to come in with the Mexican food question. Look, all I mean, I'm you saying know is I how much you... trouble that's going to cause in my life. All I'm saying is I think, you know, you, you had a lot of beef today. Right? Ah. Oh. Right. Oh, Jesus. End it. End it. I'm leaving. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. I'm leaving. All right. Yeah, I'm leaving, too. Thank you, everyone. Might drink some mayo while the incest on the sleep. Shredder will start barking more freighters acting sweet. We'll do the real raw ritual with more. And ET, share a laugh with the real Jim C. Y'all low, Jimmy Lee. They said we wouldn't come back, but G, we always do. Rice from the ashes like the Phoenix on the flex back to two. You're watching H to the three, 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 three. You're watching H to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. You're watching next to the three, 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 three. I'm out.